What's going on, guys? Just wanted to bring you some of our new stuff we have at Hostile.com. I'm going to take you to the website real quick. We'll get you there. This is the Sacrifice Longbody came out yesterday or the day before. And we have three colorways for it. If you click shop now, it'll take you there. You have the black and gray. You have the black Miami Vice, blue, and the white and gray, which I love. White makes you look bigger, by the way. So pick that one up. And then if you go to Brandwear Tees and scroll down to one of our staple shirts, is our original shirt, which is the OG Sacrifice Classic. We have these new colorways. They have the espresso, and they also have the military green. So that's launching for this week. We have some cool stuff coming next week as well. Every week for the next little while, we're going to have some awesome stuff coming out at Hostile.com. So make sure you get there. Use code RBP at checkout to save some money. Thanks, guys. <laughs> you don't think C's not supposed to say okay. that. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, waiting for somebody to talk. <laughs> uh, what's going on, guys? Not you. Can you guys look? I hate I hate to be the bitch of the group, but like the whole fucking summer is gonna go by. We haven't done anything. Are we gonna do something or what? Yeah. Mike, what what's going on? on? What's going on with your dog? How's your dog? Is he is is she better or he better? Is it a she? Yeah, or she's he? not. She's not peeing as much. She's controlling it now. Can you she's get away? Can you get away for a weekend or what's going on? Yeah. Well, okay. I'm I'm free on the weekends. Ian's booked up in August. Yeah, so is Paul. I so is Paul. Two, I just got two weddings. One this Thursday and then one the seventeenth. Well, Paul's uh, judging this weekend judge anyway. Oh, but I'll be down for your show. Yeah, I know, but I want to do something other than. I guess, I mean, I guess everybody come to my house for that weekend. Yeah, we, or I could come down like a day or two early before it, because like the show is yeah. Saturday, like come down on like Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. What do you think, Mike? When is the show? Uh, September 7th. The Windsor oh. show. The September Windsor... 7th. Wait, am I wrong? No. Wait, okay, let me check the website. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> sign up. <laughs> it's like... I think me, me and Paul judge. You and Paul the... are actually, exactly. you guys are. Yeah, you're right. It's not September 7th. I don't know when it is. End of August, isn't it? It is September 6th. Yeah, you guys are judging that weekend. What the fuck? I Wait, knew I was right. That can't be right. Let me check here. Yeah, listen, because you guys are supposed to judge in Saskatchewan or whatever. When's it? Oh, okay, Saskatchewan, September 14th. Yeah, that's why. So we're the weekend before. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're September 7th in Windsor. And then you guys are gone to Saskatchewan to judge that Golden Prairie Cup or whatever on the 14th. Correct. But what are golden you doing? Shower. Oh yeah, the golden shower. <laughs> Don't say that about their show. <laughs> <laughs> the golden shower cup. <laughs> Everyone's gonna call it that now. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're talking about it. Uh, no, but Paul's in Paul's in Acapulco at some point in August. What did you just call it? Acapulco. <laughs> what? How do you say it? I don't know. You just said it funny. I don't know. I said Aca <laughs> Acapulco. Aca what are you supposed to call it? Acapulco. Is in there an L in it? No. Acapulco. It's Alco Acapulco. No, it's not. Look it up, bro. Dude. Okay. One second. I know what that. You don't. You don't say it though. Acapulco. I thought it was Acapulco. <laughs> Ask Paul. Ac 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 you don't pronounce don't the say L. Anything. Paul. Yeah, don't say. Wait, wait, wait. Don't. I'm gonna. Where are you judging gonna, your show? I'm gonna show you something. Show in Mexico. What city is it in? Cancun. Oh, okay. Wait. I want Why? you to say. I want you to say. That up. Paul, I want you to say something. <laughs> how do you? How, how do you say this? Acapulco. See? Thank you. Poco. No, you said it like I said. What do you mean? Did you pronounce the L? Yeah. Yes. What do you say? Poco. Yeah, you I didn't. Poco. Acapulco. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, entire peasant. My, peasant. my entire because <laughs> he's not European. <laughs> my entire life, I haven't been pronouncing the fucking L. I didn't know you were supposed to pronounce the L. Yes. Yeah, I hold uh, near and dear to my heart. That's where I turn well, pro. You learned some new. Well, oh yeah, I Olympia. Know, well, you had to go there to get it. So whatever. I get. It. <laughs> that was amateur Olympia. Yeah. Um. I got a whole. What do you got? Why do you got a tear in your shirt? What, is that, is that, gym, is that a Jim Reaper shirt? That's why. Belts are no, looking good. This is yeah, my it's favorite. Like, just joke. <laughs> this is, the shirt's like 15 years old shirt that I got at Cabela's. I'm just joking. Um, okay. Well, I learned something new today. It's Acapulco. All right. Anyway. This, what, have you strategically pushed that, that book in the background, Paul? 
I would have been meaning to tell you. <laughs> this is my like, wife's. No, this is my wife's stuff. I don't. I don't read that shit. Why yeah. would he? What is that little messaging us to the? Phone. I don't know. It just looks so strategically placed. You're right. There, it does. <laughs> no. You know what, I mean? what do you want to tell us? I don't want to tell you anything. <laughs> How's that? There we go. All that hair and the hair and beard is really coming in. Yeah, I'm not feeling too good on myself right now. I think it looks uh, good. No, it's not that good, Ian. You got to see it in person. The, why, uh, why, don't you dye, why don't you dye the beard? Just like give it a little bit of dye, you know? Uh, no, I'm just going to get a trim. I'm not into dyeing, dyeing stuff. I used to do that. Uh, I'm not a high just maintenance do like a light guy. Brown. You don't need to go like full black on it, you know? <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know. It's hard to match this color yeah. with, with that. Yeah, brown. It's impossible. <laughs> it's, huh? not, it's not a normal brown. It's a <laughs> little bit. It's like an olive brown. Like light um, medium brown. Light yeah, medium brown. yeah, Italian, yeah. But Italian brown. It is okay, Italian can, brown. Can, yeah. can we get back? Can we get back to Acapulco? I get to yeah. get a haircut tomorrow, though. Yeah, I'm getting one tomorrow too. Are you? Not, not the top though. No, I got a wedding on Thursday, so I just need. You're to gonna look like by the end of the year, you're gonna look like Vanilla Ice. I hope so. <laughs> Your hair's looking good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I? Uh, can I see the front? <laughs> Paul, Paul studying it. Can you, you give us a go? spread? Can you spread <laughs> it out wanna, of it? Like, can you see it all? Like where like it's, you know, where it begins? What do you mean? Like, like does it look fake at all? The, the transplant. He wants to know if you can see no. like. Yeah. Does it look fake at all? Well, I mean, my hairline's very straight, but I mean, other than that. <laughs> like, it doesn't look like doll hair. Close the longer it gets, the more natural it looks, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. As my hair's coming in, I have a little more shape to it. It's not quite as straight. Yeah. If you were to sh- like it cut it short, ridiculous. It still obviously looks like a little man made, but it's not nearly as bad. No, no, it doesn't. It, it, it no doesn't. the longer the longer it gets, you're right. The more normal right. it gets. Yeah. If it was shorter, do you think it would be more noticeable that it was? You I don't know. know. I think it's just that it's been growing in longer and it's starting to like naturalize a bit more. You know. Yeah, Paul, you're really like you're really considering you're really considering this hair thing. I'm starting to hey, think about. Well, I mean, you talked about it. My my. Uh, my I don't. I don't actually care. No. No, I kind of like being bald. Do you? Why? Because yeah. it's just low maintenance. Yeah, I don't want. What the fuck? You don't have gonna... to do anything with it. Listen, you just... I'm, I'm married twenty fucking years. What am I gonna do? Go get a haircut and do? Yeah, me go too. Get, go get hair and do what? Start modeling? What am I gonna do? Yeah, just grow a fucking flow by. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I gonna do? <laughs> uh, well, well, I'm not gonna do nothing either. But I just think you know, it might be nice. Yeah, but you look yeah. good with a shaved head. So what? Yeah, might be nice. Then what? What are you gonna do after? You gonna? You think your wife's gonna run her fingers through your hair and stuff? Like what's yeah. gonna happen? No, she won't. Um, <laughs> I, uh, no chance. I, I might do it myself. It'd be nice to just. I just wanted to see Fuad with like the full like Arab slick back, you know. <laughs> Listen, oh, yeah. long I... long sides and top. That's all just slick back, you know. No, look, I, I'm never. Listen, I'm all for like personal improvement. If you want to get it, it's cool. But I just for me well, personally, Ian's, for Ian's me young. personally, I'm like I've had a shaved head for so long. It would be weird if all of a sudden I showed up with hair. Yeah, I, I understand. Like I, you know, especially when you're young, like Ian. Like I understand, you want to get another good. You want to get another good twenty years out of it, you know. Yeah, I mean, fuck, um, he's thirty three. If I was thirty three, I'd probably care more too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, to be honest, I don't really care that and much. I don't. It, it's also it's not that I actually age. It's honestly just because I've been bald for, I've I've been shaving my head for fifteen years, twelve years now. Yeah, so it'd be kind so of my, dramatic. My mom's husband has been in, is talking to them. He's gonna go. I, t- I hooked him up with the now hair time guys. He's gonna go this November, I think. Yeah. Is that Turkey? Yeah, same place. Mike, what would you do if you could have hair tomorrow? Would you go or no? You don't give a fuck. No. Do you mm-hmm. like do you like being bald I know more? Those sick or do, you got talking done. Well, do you like yeah. being bald more because it's convenience or just you like the look or what? Yeah, just don't have to worry about it. Even if I could grow hair, I would have it like I would have it very short on top and like yeah. fade it up. How do yeah. you uh how do you shave your head, Mike? Do you use a butt like a bick or do you use like a like a he uses man he uses a manscape go, manscape yeah. code RBP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ball trimmer 4.0. <laughs> 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 no, everybody no, no. everybody on this podcast uses manscape paul everybody yeah yeah all I the time too. every day i need a new one actually i'll get you yeah. i got you i got one right here for you I'll bring yeah you. here look. yeah mine, mine jammed up on me too much hair yeah oh god anyway sorry sorry mike yeah. it's supposed to be like a weed whacker that thing what do you mean <laughs> yeah you gotta clean it out once in a while i guess anyway sorry no, mike, i just gotta shave like once a week when i get my my beard lined up my barber just like Shaves it with one of those foil ones, you know, the foil razors with like the three heads or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, that shit gets it closer like than it. even a razor can. Yeah, those are good. Are we good it's with the faster. hair, Paul? Yeah, I'm good now. Thanks. Okay, <laughs> shave a mohawk in your hair, Paul, before you cut it. Just I don't tonight. know if I could do a mohawk, Mike. There's not much there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I used to do it with barely anything, Paul. I can yeah, but so <laughs> you looked up close. It's, it's, I think it looks better on camera than it does in person. Up close, like you saw, food, there's like there's a little bit of hair right here, yeah, and then here's nothing. <laughs> And it then here like... is thick. 
it's but actually even the, starting to go over my like but, sunglasses. But even the sides in the back is like patchy. It's patchy. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like it's really full, but it's, I know it's not. Really? No, I didn't think you don't lose the hair on the sides of the back. Though. Well, it thins. Ah, it doesn't. My, it's called. Shot, so. It's called like I, they told me it was called like a shotgun effect. You have like it's like not full on the sides and the back. That's a nice way to put it. That's what they said to me. They're like, yeah. it's your hair. That's what worse. It. I wish you wouldn't have told me that. Why? <laughs> it feels like, buck, <laughs> looks like buckshot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, okay. Can we go back now? August, yep. you're in Cancun, second week. Mm-hmm. And then you're judging this weekend. Ian, are you in Toronto this weekend? No, for the natural nationals? Yeah. No. Oh, you're okay. Not. Are you judging yeah. that ball? Mm hmm. Um, um, and then the third week, you're where? Pittsburgh. Fourth week. The fourth week, you're in Pittsburgh. Yeah, during the week though, like I'm I'm, I'm home on the oh, weekend. So, so we That's should do North, something that North America's amateurs. Yep. So we should do something that weekend then. Yeah, and actually, I'm only well, I'm, because of the drive, it's like a four day trip because um, I'm only actually judging two days. Pittsburgh. You, it's only a five hour drive. Yeah, it's a long. You got you got to leave the day before. Like if I come yeah. that last week of August, I'm five staying hours takes me ten or seventh on your show though. <laughs> you're what sorry i'm not driving fucking eight hours twice in a week you know oh so you're gonna come down like the week before the windsor show you no well, no that's the weekend before thing to come down the last week of august i'm coming we're back. trying i'm trying to figure out when we should all like we i want yeah. to do our yearly like cottage trip but yeah the last and... week of august would work all right we'll figure it out anyways guys um and then me and you were in saskatchewan Ian, the week after yeah. that i still haven't booked anything for that i gotta do that oh no i booked mine no, I know. I know you did. I, I thought we had the same flight. I thought we're sure it'd be sold out. Guys, we were talking about it. Never, <laughs> I never booked it. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Saskatchewan's hot in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> like a golden shower cup. <laughs> <laughs> the girl, the lady's gonna be so mad. <laughs> oh well. Um. Okay. Uh, Dubai. Let's get right to business because I think oh. Ian. I think Ian got crushed this week. I finally but, maybe uh, maybe because Mike. No, I had I I won I couldn't have won. I know okay. I could. Well, let's find out. You had to have beat me because you had, uh, Ali Edward and in, in fifth, and I didn't. I'm and gonna get it. if I the two of you, you had Rubio winning. Did you not? Yes. Yeah, which which could be okay because Mike had Baru's winning, but yeah. he had Robin in fifth, and Robin ended up tenth. I think you called that, Mike. You were confident about that too. Yeah, I knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, a uh, clock is right twice a day. A broken, a broken <laughs> clock is right nice and <laughs> Okay. Uh, I just think Bruce is going to be too polished and too, like, you're he like was. he's a seasoned pro, you know what I mean? He's going to step out there and stand out, even though Rubio's I, huge. Before we look at picks, yeah, we should probably discuss the show a bit. I actually thought Rubio would come in a little harder. He yeah, looked, he his, con- his conditioning was exactly the same as last year, if not. It was actually slightly worse. Yeah, it looked a little bit worse. But he, his upper body did grow, though. Did. He looked his more balanced. better. Yeah. His back, especially, is what but I thought. Where he had like a lot of freak factor in the side shots because of like the side leg detail and stuff. He lost a bit of that uh, at this show from not having as much heat. This looks a make better than I saw on the live stream, so that's good. Yeah, you know, he, he looks a lot more aesthetic in certain shots than I thought he would. His upper body is is grown quite a bit. Like his lats yeah. from the front look very good. Actually, his lats mm-hmm. from the back look good too. He just, um, I mean, when you're going against Baruz, Nathan, and Bonac, these guys have a lot of detail. See, for some reason, I thought his. his this side was. Shot I thought looked, this was pretty funny. He really like. Yeah, he danced. I'm like, it's not an individual posing routine. It's kind of like, <laughs> it's not really. You know yeah. what I mean? But his conditioning looks way better in this video than yeah, in this it, video. It, his conditioning looks good. Yeah. yeah. Like this, this, this is not what I saw on the live stream. Yeah, I don't think anybody did. Like his glutes are peeled no. here. Mm-hmm. He's got so much muscle. This is a cell phone video for Milos in the crowd. Oh. Which yeah. sometimes make guys look fucking gnarly, you know. Yeah, I mean, we have to compare it to what Baruz would look but in that the same That could be what he actually looked like in person versus the live stream was less accurate, so. Yeah, but all, I guess all that means is Baruz is even more shredded than we yeah. thought. Yeah. I just wanted to show it to show his balance, not really the condition. I mean, he's having a, he's pretty comfortable on stage, obviously. Yeah, he should never do that again. <laughs> 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 we'll take a look at uh, some of the other bodybuilders before we discuss Rubiel a little bit more. Uh, we have... There's Rubiel there. Is there any shots of the that show? Might be all of them in that one swipe through the. Where? I'll go to that swipe through that was there. Sorry. With Rubiel and see if there's more. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Was it all Rubiel? Yeah. Oh, it's, all, it's all Rubiel. Let's see what uh, Buys and Tries has. 
Where is he? There he is. Um, is there a lineup shot here? Here's Bone Bonac and Rubiel. You see the size difference, though. It's pretty fucking wild. Mm -hmm. Let's see the side yeah, For some reason, I thought Rubiel's side shots looked better last year, you know? Well, what's yeah. wrong with that? What's wrong with that side shot? Well, it Other looks than... good, but it just doesn't... I remember it being freakier in my mind last year. Maybe it's just the details a little more, or maybe it's just like I saw it for the first time, so it was like really shocking last year. Now I've seen it once. You know what I mean? Maybe. Yeah. I mean that to me. To me, that's pretty fucking outstanding. No, I mean it, here it looks great to me. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. better than I remembered it from watching it on on Saturday, uh, Sunday. Yeah. Saturday. It's, it's weird though. His conditioning looks harder from the back than it does from the side, which is not. Well, normal. that's a that's a different video though. Let's see if this comes back around. Uh, I think Bruce. Listen, Bruce has an outstanding physique. He really needs to stop doing that. Like squat into position thing he yeah, does he does that always to set his legs eh yeah i don't know why he's doing that it's not like he, he knows how to pose so i don't know why there's nathan i feel like nathan got a little bit lost in the lineup yeah i mean he looked good i mean it wasn't his best showing of the year i don't think but it was certainly a very very good one yeah um you know he's just so fucking full but like you did he wasn't as big as Rubiel, and he wasn't as sharp yeah. as Baruz. So that's like, what, kind yeah. Of, you know? That's kind of what I meant by he got a lot of little lost. Yeah. Like he didn't have the any outstanding factor over anybody else. He was just good. Nathan finished third, right? And Bonac was second? Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, it's right here. Here's the. What about the fucking. Before we go on, like, what about the fucking prize? Money? For classic, Chris oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. But not only that, guys, I think they're doing $500,000 next year for Dubai. Yeah. Really? Total? Yeah. Jesus. Total money. Yeah, they were 220 ah. this year. They're going up to 500 next year. Like, ah. that's, dude, this is hey. great. Like, Bruce just that's won $100,000. Like, that was like I, I, what you would win for the Arnold like three years ago. Right yeah. Now. I think yeah. it's like, you know, I don't know if it's the complaining or if it's all like the extra sponsors like MIT45 and New Tech and Panada and like all these other people coming on to help. But it's really cool to see that like bodybuilding's finally like. I mean, this show, if you look, watch the live stream, the fucking stage was like the size of the goddamn Olympia. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. they had like a crowd that was like 6,000 people. Like it yeah. was fucking crazy. It was like a full size, like yeah. top level. It was like watching the Arnold, you know? Mm -hmm. well, I mean, bodybuilding is huge in the Middle East right now. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and there's money that, there. Obviously, this was oxygen. And those guys were putting this on. So, <laughs> I just think it's phenomenal to, to see like somebody win 100 grand yeah. at well, not, not one of the bigger, like it's going to be one of the bigger shows moving forward, but like not the Arnold or Olympia, you know? Well, for the longest time, ten grand was it, unless it yeah. was Olympia and Arnold, and it was, right. and it stayed that way for how many years? And now that's now that's the, now that's the minority. <laughs> like I can only name a few shows with ten grand. Well, now that MI um, um, uprising is kicking in too, I don't think any show is less than like fifteen now. No, that's not true. No, wasn't Van, was it? Was it Vancouver? Was all the men open? I know, but wasn't Vancouver ten for the winner? Was it? I thought. I thought that. I thought that. Uh, uprising kicks in the extra five. Well, look, I mean, it's great either way. I, I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you're getting paid. I think it's good that the sponsors are starting to come on and like. I retired too early. Money. Yeah, you mm -hmm. did, and you should have yeah. stayed hey, back. Still young, Ian. Yeah, you yeah. can come back. <laughs> yeah, come back for the, you maybe you make this. maybe you can make Dubai your comeback show next year. They're going to give away two hundred grand for the. I was. I've already been back in the gym. See, I got my stitches out already. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> and now you got the. Uh, you'll have the uh, the handsome factor now too There's with the hair. There, three, four, five, six. Paul's gonna pay, Paul's gonna pick you as the winner now because you're gonna be more handsome. Yeah, you'll get you'll get you got a little you have a little extra push. So what's going on? Are you are you coming back or what? No, come on. No. You're full uh, of shit. I don't know if you guys have ever had this like when you had incisions or anything, Mike. Under this yeah. one, I have like a fucking. It's like hard as a rock underneath it. You know, the pool of blood or something. No, it's just like I don't know if it's the internal stitches or what it is. It doesn't feel like it's not a like a ball, like an abscess or anything. It's literally just like it's rock hard under your that. Body, your body will probably absorb it as time passes. No. Yeah, I'm sure it will. I just yeah. don't know. Like yeah. this one just here, shove a needle in there and drain it yourself. It doesn't fine. feel like something like that. It just feels. <laughs> I've like done that. Rock. I've done that many times. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's an awful idea. Do not do that. They feel good. <laughs> that's only two weeks. Well, that's I'm that I'm the heaviest one here right now. So fuck you all. I think. What do you weigh? I was two seventy this morning. What? Yeah, 274 yeah. today. No. That's sort of God. <laughs> You're four pounds heavier already than the weekend. Dude, Ian, I started eating carbs. <laughs> and start, I started, started eating carbs and started taking the my carb shots. Carb monster got me. <laughs> started, started, I started taking eating carbs. I started taking shots again. What shots? Like what what are you taking? 125 milligrams a week of test and 100 milligrams a week of primo. Nice. 
and 20 milligrams a day of Anivar. That's it. You didn't, you didn't tell me the primo perp. Well, I, just added, I, I just added that. I just added that in the last week. Just yeah. relax. But I just literally no added. Wonder you're, no wonder you're tripling me on the weights now in the last week. And I'm like, <laughs> Paul's like, what's going on? Dude, yeah, yeah, I, I asked him. He's like, a little Anivar test. That's it. I just added the fucking primo. It's 100 <laughs> milligrams. It's not like I'm taking 5,000 milligrams right. a week. All right. Well, I'll get to get like my total, Like my total steroid use for the week is what? Uh, Three, a, a hundred, a hundred Anivar, because uh, it's only on training days. It's three hundred fifty. Uh, a hundred primo, yeah, and I, no, three hundred twenty-five milligrams. Well, now I got to get some primo. Three hundred twenty-five milligrams. That's the, that's TRT. <laughs> yeah. Well, as according to me, as you saw. The, oh yeah, the, I saw that clip of you. Ian, yeah, hundred milligrams. Oh is my yeah, yeah. Ian's cruising. You cru- like, cruise on a thousand, eh, Ian? I watched the clip back and I'm like, I don't know how this is not so evident. We're literally talking about cycles. And I said that 700 was like religiously, like what my go-to was, which I've talked about on here a million times, hundred milligrams a day of prop. I did like every contest prep cycle ever. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then it's saying that, that then it was assumed that I was saying that I never went below that. And that's like my cruise minimum, you know? <laughs> See, this is okay. It's going to lead me to my next point, which I want to wait till after we talked about Dubai, but we'll, we'll get into it now. So this is why, the the news and TikTok news is like you got to be really fucking careful. I said this to somebody the other day. I was reading a headline, and then I was like, "Wait a minute, I got to check what's behind this headline." And I forget what it was. So I can't get into no, it. Was uh, Rubio being sick? Oh yeah. No, no, no. That yeah. I'm gonna get. That I'm gonna get into. But this was a political thing. And I'm like, "What is this?" And then I looked into it, and I'm like, "The, the headline was total bullshit." So this is kind of the same thing. You have a TikTok guy with a ton of followers going ian's cruise is 700 milligrams a test and then you have a whole bunch of people that are like oh pros are doing 700 milligrams on cruise and meanwhile it's not even true look i'm, I'm like, sure there is guys that do that so i'm not going to discount that like when we're saying pros no, but if your example i'm not sitting here speaking for all pros that there isn't guys that do that i'm sure there are the, guys that are um but the I, point. it's not the point i it's that's not absolutely point. not what i did yeah. if you're gonna if you're gonna talk about something especially if you can talk about somebody you should get your fucking facts right, or else yeah, now you're leaving. Oh, this guy who does that anymore was, though. was cool in the comments when I commented back, like clarifying, being like, "Hey, I never said this. Like, there's context to this. If you watch the clip, like what I was saying." And he was like, he was he wasn't like a dickhead or like. You so know, I'm not. I'm not this saying specific that. guy was cool. I know others in the past have used it and ran with it, even when I said that that wasn't what I was saying, which I thought was extremely evident when you watch the clip. Um, but I mean, it's. I'm it's, not saying. Uh, I'm not saying the guy was a dick. What I'm trying to yeah. say is. Even if he took it back, yeah. it's too late because however many thousands of people saw the clip, yeah, and they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not going back to read his retraction yeah. or the right. comments to see like, oh, Ian commented, and yeah. that's not true. Like they just saw it and now they ran with it, and now that's their information. Yeah. So, so and, that, and, and, go ahead. That's what I was gonna. That's what I was gonna think about you now, Ian. Yeah. You're cruising you're, on 750 right now. You're, you're juice free. <laughs> yeah. No, but I guess That's the reason he retired early, he was running yeah. so much gear, his body was failing. He had to get- yeah. yeah. <laughs> the reason I guess I'm bringing it up is because also this Rubiel thing. So apparently Rubiel made a video. I didn't see it, but people told me that he made a video saying that he didn't place well or wasn't conditioned because he was sick and his sponsor forced him to compete. Apparently, I don't I didn't see the video. Apparently oh, I didn't see that one. I saw his video that he was talking and saying that's not true. Yeah, but apparently he made a video previously saying that he was, <laughs> I don't think he used the word forced, but this is the problem, is the news outlets took that video and used the word forced. Oh, oh okay. Like he yeah. may have said, I felt like a responsibility to my sponsor. Maybe I, think get, was, I think it was, along, it. Yeah, well, I think it was more along. Yeah, I think it was more along. Yeah. Responsibility, yeah. So, I did. so then the, the news outlets take it and go, he was forced to compete. And now everybody's <laughs> like, and now everybody's like, Fuck that sponsor, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah. And Sulek was forced to go on no podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just, I, and, and I'm, and it's true. Like, it, I'm seeing like a repeat, right? Cause I'm like, look, first of all, if the sponsor did say it's a requirement, that's part of your contract. Yeah. Like, sorry, like the sponsor is paying X amount of dollars, however it may be. That's their return. Like, this is a premium athlete. He's an elite athlete. They want to see him compete. So let's just say hypothetically it was in there. That's totally like that's okay. That's happened many times. In yeah, fact, look, in yeah. fact, majority of contracts. I don't know if they still do. I know we don't, but like I'm majority of con- majority majority of contracts back in the day, you had to compete. It was actually rare. I think Animal was one of the only brands back in the day that didn't make their athletes compete. My, my first few like good paying contracts had 
like minimum uh, competitions during the duration of the contact contract. Right. Oh, right. really? Like, right. Do your contract yeah. during that time. I had to compete a minimum of X amount of times. Right. Um, right. Yeah, like I didn't have placing contingencies or anything, obviously things that are out of the, my control in, in certain senses, but um, it wasn't like specific shows, but it was just saying like within a two, two years, yeah. you know, one year. You have to get on stage. Like you, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Because uh, obviously what? if I went to the company, I was like, Hey, I'm going to take one year off to grow and improve. Then obviously we could come to a discussion and agreement, and, right. you know, understanding. Um, but that was the base of the the contract for sure. They would never try to dictate what shows you in, or like the or the round, uh, the rough dates of the shows. Like, do you have to do one in the fall, for example, one in the spring? Well, hold on a minute. That could change depending on the athlete. Like, if you talk, I bet you, if you ask Jay. Oh yeah, you, I'm, just, I'm you, just speaking for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm just having telling Paul. Like, if you ask Jay or Dexter, I bet you, in their big muscle tech contracts. They probably had you had to compete at the Arnold or the Olympia or both right. or something like that. Or or shows that maybe Muscle Tech was sponsoring or like yeah. whatever. You know, right, right. They were well, sponsoring the Flex Pro that year. We expect you to do it. You know, things, you things should see if you could add that to Samson's contract. Who has to do Detroit Pro? <laughs> <laughs> the, Pro you know, the funny yeah. thing is, I think Samson wants to do the Detroit Pro anyway. So. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> um, but no, I, I, I it's just weird. We've reached a time where like. People expect the athletes. You know? That people expect the athletes to just do get to do whatever they want. Yeah, and the, the sponsors are paying these athletes for something. So that's the first thing. Okay. The second, the second thing I want to talk say say about it was, Rubiel made a video saying, "I wasn't forced, and my sponsor has been very good to me." Mm -hmm. And the reaction is nobody believes him. Yeah, and I'm like, if why? How is that your sponsor is forcing you to yeah. say it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, and I'm just I'm just a little confused. I'm like, why are we just taking people's word for it? That's probably kind of insulting to Ruby L. He's like, I can make my own decisions. I don't need, you know, to be told is, what to do. This is kind of what I mean. It's like, why would you, he's making a video saying, Hey guys, you took that the wrong way. I wasn't forced. My sponsors always had my back. It's kind of, he said it in the caption because yeah. I can't, I don't understand what he's saying. He's speaking in, in uh, Spanish or I don't know what language it is. Portuguese. Portuguese or something. So um, I read it in the caption and I'm like, why are, and people are like, you're lying. They made you say that. And I'm like, why just, why don't you just believe him? Like, I'm pretty sure if the guy wanted to leave, he could probably get another sponsorship. Yeah, I'm sure. He, uh... So, so I'm like, why would he lie? Like, maybe you guys just took it the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. It was just weird though. The period of time we live in where like, like, but like you said, even from the beginning, it's like, let's say, and I'm not saying because he's disputing that. So we should believe what he says, but let's say he didn't, or he did continue with the show or did do a show, like, I think in the case where you're sick, obviously a sponsor should be like, hey, if you're not yeah. sick, we don't want to, like, you know, cause right. any potential issues. But say you have agreed to a show or they have in your contract that you need to do a specific show, you agreed to the contract. Yeah. Right. Like, it's not like you don't get to read a contract before you sign it. Right. If it says in it, you have to do the Dubai Pro, and you're like, hey, I don't want to do the D Dubai Pro. Can we negotiate this? Contracts are up for negotiation. I right. neg negotiate every contract I get, you know, if there's things in there that I don't like, or I want, or, you know, you talk about these things and negotiate. And if you think they're unfair, don't sign the contract. And if you're going to sign it and then think it's unfair, well, you know what I mean? You signed it. Like, but it's kind of I, it I think, I think where I'm going with it is, do you guys think it's weird that people believe these small news outlets, if you over want to call it, over the people that are actually involved? I, th I think the people who aren't, you know, like the, the, the fans that, are on the outside, you know what I mean? Like the ones that who are just like sort of weekend fans, whatever, yeah. however you want to call it. I yeah. think those people might for sure. But the people who know the industry a little bit better, I don't think would believe it. I don't I think, think that's there, true. I think no, there is really a is. lot of mistrust in the world right now. Yeah, you know, that's true. Anything with what, what people are saying, people think is coerced or lies and same with media. They think like whatever it is coming from whoever, people just have a natural skepticism these days to not believe almost anything they hear unless it's something that's exciting and interesting to them. Yeah. So like when they're saying that it's, oh, it's more the sponsor so it's, forced them and blah, 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 yeah. and they put his health at risk, that's more exciting than him saying, hey, that's not what I said. I was just saying that like my sponsor, you know, I, I felt wanted me to compete. Yeah. They right. wanted me to, but they were cool if I didn't. I felt obligated to. So I, you know, I was just a week out and I didn't feel too bad. So I did it anyways. You know, right. But yeah, maybe you're an absolute maybe... inclination, especially how yeah. things have been like politically lately to yeah. not believe anything, you know? And look, I, yeah. say, I mean, what I, I watch the news, I don't believe anything I hear, you know what I mean? Not anymore. But I usually I try and I try and believe it if it's coming from the source. Like, Mike, what do you think? Like, do you feel like it's weird that people are taking the words of other people than people are actually involved? 
Yeah, because everyone seems to be into like sensationalism nowadays and gossip. That seems to be yeah. their only way there. You can keep people's interest. Yep. It's like I could put up a video where I say something, I don't like this. And that's how I start the video. And then I proceed to go on in the rest of the video, explain like why or my opinion or that this isn't like, this isn't necessarily opinion. This is also a perspective I have, but people will listen to that first five seconds and be like, Oh yeah, this guy's yeah. fucked up. He's fucking asshole. It's like, no, but I if you listened, what you just to said back to me in response, I said later, but you couldn't keep your attention span for 40 seconds. Cause you're like, Ugh. which yeah. is wiping up and what we were just talking about with my cruising, you know, right, if right, you right. actually watch the clip, it's, pretty obvious that that's not what I'm saying. We have, we're having a conversation about cycles. I said that that was my go-to nowhere. Did I say the word cruise in, in, you know, coinciding with that. Um, but people obviously see that they have this natural inclination to not believe and to, you know what I mean? And so it's, they believe what is the most, you know, gossipy, exciting, they also, you know, they also want like a confirmation bias because they're all doing, these guys are all doing these younger guys and guys who are kind of clueless and out there. They're all doing these astronomical doses, and they're because like, they think that's what. And, yeah, and they and they know that like they're like this is this is kind of risky. But then when someone like Ian, they hear oh, he confirmed it, like oh, well I did a thousand. Ian did Ian did seven hundred. So I'm in the ballpark of that's like, what where you should be. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go back. We we veered away from uh, the show. Let's go back and give these people the respect they deserve for a minute. <laughs> um we'll get into these other classes too because i thought they were pretty incredible but oh, guys, um so i do yeah. want to just look at some of these lineups so if i could find them well, i've been is receiving it, a lot of congratulation messages all my... and classic is there a picture of fucking barus there. i mean there's so many pictures That's of nathan. Rupert. nathan looks good he's full his condition was yeah. good i didn't feel like he had the same level of detail as the other guys that was no kind of... he didn't have the same detail. In, the, in these pictures he doesn't yeah Still a very good showing, but um, just out detailed a bit by some of the top guys. There's no pictures of Baruz, even though he's the fucking winner. Um, is there any other? Yeah, maybe let's, let's check Sway Lose. Sway Lose. <laughs> Are you watching any Olympic gymnastics or what? I don't watch. Of course, I don't really watch the Olympics. <laughs> uh, When's the hundred meter? The final eight. That's there's like one of the last things I think. Yeah, it's the end. A, a track and field itself, I think, starts uh, the third, second to the third. Sorry, go yeah. ahead. Okay. There's Bruce. Sharper. The guy is like. I love this guy's physique. Yeah. I know. Like his upper body. I, I still think the legs need a little bit more. Yeah, but the legs like, do, but it just flows so nicely. It does. Mm -hmm. It does. Very, mm -hmm. very nice physique. He's always he razor has, sharp. He has zero weak poses. Yeah. Like every pose is good, you mm. know. Who uh, who does his diets? Milos. 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 He yeah. is overwhelmingly oh. large glute, though. It's crazy. Yeah, a lot of European guys do that. Eh, they set their pose like that, especially from the back. Yeah, but his glutes are huge, is what he's saying. I'm always curious. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Guys like this, and I and I I remember I said this about someone when we were watching training. I remember Dorian Haywood a few years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I said that like his quads were undeveloped and his underdeveloped and his glutes were overdeveloped. Yeah, uh -huh. and I said I, I would suspect it's because of how he trains legs in his form in, in those. Um, and I had people that train at his gym confirm it, be like, "Yeah, this is literally exactly what you said is how we see him train." Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's more, very much like more hip and glute dominant in his training. I'd be interested. I've never watched any of Baru's yeah. training. I've actually never seen any of it. Um, to see if that's how he trains in his legs because he has insanely developed glutes, but like his quads are still good, but they're they're, they're still good, yeah. They're his weakest point on his physique, yeah. Yeah, just like a little bit more sweep. Yeah. Here's Bonac. Bonac looked great. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very polished. Yeah, very polished. Yeah. It's just it's tough to look. It's tough only because Bonac's legs, you can start to see him starting to come down a bit. Yeah. <clears throat> but He's they were getting... a little better the first show of the year, but like obviously, yeah, the muscle like the longer he's dieting, they're probably having a little harder time holding onto that tissue. Yeah. <clears throat> Anybody know how old he is? He looks incredible. He's got to be mid forties now, eh? It must yeah. be forty five. There's another picture. There's, there's a picture of top three. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the top three, it's almost like Baruz is the perfect mix of everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the most balanced. His muscularity is great. He takes up a lot of space. Nice wide shoulders. Good Bonax. waist. Born in 40, uh, he's born in 82, so he's 42. Yep. Fuck, I'm older than Bonac. I'm older than everybody. Mm -hmm. I didn't 
Uh, okay. Bonac's been around for a long time, though. Broly's 47. Shit, I didn't know he was that old. So Angel won the 212. I just want to cover this real quick, only because of knee hot. Yeah. Uh, Angel is incredible, obviously. A ton, ton of muscularity, but the top two Good looking man, was dude. knee hat and uh, <laughs> this guy and was so Angel. Sick. Knee hat is 21 years old. Yeah, this kid's 21, eh? He's 21 yeah. years old and he was second place, and some people had him in first. I thought he was more balanced than Angel, but just didn't have the same muscularity. Yeah, I think Angel mm-hmm. was a fair win for sure. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree. This kid's future is very bright. Mm-hmm. This kid's what, gonna ha- he's gonna have to go into the open. Like if you're at this at 21, I think he's very short though. Is he? I don't. I still don't think it matters. It's almost like to me, it's like a Flex Lewis yeah. situation where I'd be interested to know what his weight is. Patrick, if you see this, text me his weight. Yeah, he's fucking phenomenal his stage presence is really good his posing is really good like he looks a little flat here super flat that's patrick though patrick always goes condition first and everything else um but he looked good though he looked really good yeah, i don't th- i don't i don't think any fullness uh would have changed it and angel was really good and uh brion caught another win yeah i wanted to cover this too brion fucking phenomenal like he looks this guy just has literally been the same or slightly better for like the last five years, 10 years. He's like, somebody, now. somebody posted, uh, Breon's, um, transformation from 2016 to 2024. It's crazy impressive. eh? I'm like, how the fuck? Like he's gotten better and better every single fucking year, even though he's got to be in his early forties. No, dude, he's born 79. Is That's he really? 44. So he's 40. No, he's 46. No, 46? 44, you're right. 44, you're right. You're right, you're right. No, 45. I'm 40. Well, I'm turning 46. 45. Uh, and I was 78. So, yeah, he's he's turning 45. Yeah, yeah he's he's uh, pretty fucking incredible, man, to see, like, the consistency. Yeah, you don't see any aging of the physique at all yet. No. It's like his legs, like, were slipping for a little bit, but he's he's managed to hold on to them. His detail's been great. If well, anything, he, brought his abduct- he brought his abductors up for yeah. And Ducter, the, adductors, ADD ductors, um, up a little bit. It's helped the shape of his legs. Like you can see there, he brought them up and actually looks really good. Yeah. yeah. And the, way, the way he poses too, it gives the illusion of his legs being a little bit bigger than they actually are. Arms, I think. Arms look he's a very, crazy. he's a very good poser. He's very polished at his posing. Yeah. Um, this guy was second. He looked he, very good. He his mind, yeah. I just think Breon's balance is just better. That was my yeah. my take on it. This guy's conditioning from the back, like was he was way leaner than Breon for sure. Maybe not as detailed in certain areas, um, but like actual conditioning, he was definitely leaner. But the balance wasn't nearly the same. Seems like it was uh, not. No offense to anybody, but it seems like it was more of a two man show. Yeah. Um, and then here's a lineup of the two twelve. These two guys are really good too, but you see here the difference between Knee Hat and Angel, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like his balance is a little better. He's got a little bit, you know, he's got the wide shoulders, but he's got the legs to match, whereas Angel is more dense, uh, a little bit yeah. top, top heavy. Yeah. Angel's density is just fucking nuts, though. You know? Yeah. Like, Where's that kid from? Turkey. I don't know. Like, a good primo. Yeah. So uh, the more I look at it, the more I'm like, it seems like it was just a muscularity. Yeah, in the back. So, you know, I think it was. I think it's a close. I don't think it's a blowout. I think no, it's definitely not. There's some shots Angel wins, and there's some shots that it looks nice. That's a little closer because of his shape and flow um, with the uh, the younger guy. Yeah, What's his name Nihat. Ni- Nihat, yeah. Nihat. Yeah. He looks so much better in these far away shots. It's crazy. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah, when you see him in the lineup, it's it's yeah. far more impressive. Was this his first pro show? Yeah. yeah. He's 21, like what's a dude. The transformation he did in one year. I don't know if he just started working with Patrick, so I don't know if it's all Pat or what, but like the transformation in one year is phenomenal. Like it's shape, his his shape didn't change at all in one year. He just got bigger. Yeah. I mean, look at that face. He looks like he's fucking seven years old, you know? Yeah, Yeah, it looks like it looks like it's looks like his face has been superimposed on someone else's body. It's like do you you remember the guy back in the day, that Russian guy, Alexei Lezukov? No. Oh, he he was like Oh, wait, I do know you're talking about. Is he, he was so big and had just yeah. like the biggest baby face yeah, of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Even now, he looks the exact yeah. same. Like, he's like 35 now. He looks identical as what he did when he was 16, you know? Uh, we didn't cover any of the USAs. Is this the USAs or the Nationals? What was it? Uh, I believe it was... I think. Oh, no, USA. Yeah. 
Um, this was the overall winner, I believe. Isn't it Joey Belt? Joey Belt overall? Yeah. yeah. Heavyweights. Heavyweights. There. there was a really good, there was a really good super. I saw this guy. I, I don't know what his conditioning looked like, but he looks the best in this lineup to me. Well, apparently the guy in the middle in person, his conditioning was like fucking outrageous. I know, but this is the problem I have. Like, I, I don't feel like condition should be like. Well, look, read the comments there. Was there in person for prejudging? This guy didn't sweat, didn't fade. Once he got in the middle, he really showed out. He was the most dense and the hardest on stage. The whole first call was really good in general. Congrats to him. Yeah, yeah I don't want look. I don't want to take anything away from him. I wasn't at the show. All I'm looking at is one fucking photo. But this guy here it looks like he's third place. Yeah, I saw that guy. He looked good. Just seems like he has a crazy shape. Yeah. So, anyway, I just wanted to. And then that Eric Yannick, he. Is it yeah, Yannick? He was, uh, he was mm -hmm. fifth in that class. He was fifth in that class. Yeah. He's got a good physique. Just needs a little refinement on certain things. Conditioning needs to be a little more polished. Swing I think he, here and there. I think he's a tall guy, too. The legs might need to come up a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's a big guy in general. Yeah. He's massive in person, that kid. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I met him at the Olympia. He's a fucking tank. Who is this? Fuck. Looks like fucking edited that waist. I know, right? Yeah. It looks like a small bruise. Yeah. Yeah, with better, with better quads. You're only yeah. saying that. You're only saying that because there. But look how short he is. <laughs> My God. That's so uh, disturbing. Or, or, or this guy's, yeah. or this guy's six six. I don't know. Yeah. I think that guy was very tall because I remember AJ and when he was doing the talking about the show, he did yeah. mention how tall the guy was. But all right, let's go to. Okay, you know, you know what I love. <laughs> Can I just say this? People. In the oh wait, I did have Ali in fifth. Hey, just hold on a bit. People in the comment section are very, very angry that we have to, that I add all these up manually. Yes, you're doing it. Because <laughs> so you I, get them, you get ones wrong bad. like seventy percent of the time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, Rubiel, three, 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 three. One. one, 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 super one. <laughs> Nathan uh, was third. Nathan Bonac. was third. Bonac two. two. Ali Edward was zero, and Arab was sixth. Oh, but we didn't go Arab, six. Giant Arab. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, there's six right there. Three, four, five, six. Okay, that's a pretty good score. Oh, I'm happy with that. Six, One second. Here, fuck off, people. Stop bugging me. Why is it going there? No, you yeah. put that there. No, I didn't. I'm Ooh, no, just, just put it. Put it in the yellow box, Fred. Just delete oh, yeah, that yeah. zero. Oh, thanks, Paul. That. It's going beneath for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, you got to move it up. <laughs> Don't you shut up. <laughs> It's not, it's supposed to go in the one below it. See that tab button? Hey, asshole, when you do this, <laughs> it's supposed to go right here, you fucking idiot. Shut up. <laughs> oh, click the tab, though, he's saying. Yeah. The okay. red one. You got to tab one, one, one box over. And do what? Now hit delete. Track the four. Three of the three. Backspace. Why is it in French, <laughs> your computer? Okay, now what? Now six. I know I can put the six in there. That's not the point. What are you trying to do then? Oh my <laughs> god, Jesus fucking Christ! Bro. <laughs> I know how to put a six in the box. That's not oh, I fucking... thought that's what you're struggling with. No, no it's you... problem. You just put it in there. Throw it oh, in there. Just fucking. You know what? Just leave me alone. <laughs> six. What's a six in the box, man? Dear. Hey, look, it's, 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 sum it's summing it below you, fucking assholes. <laughs> I get oh, it. is that adding it up for you? Yes. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ, Paul. <laughs> All right. Uh, zero. Two. Two. Fuck yeah, Mike. One. Zero. Two. Boom. Fuck. Four. But he didn't guess Ooh, a six. Mike. He didn't guess a six. So did you and I just do that because you guys we, we did it because we had the same. Because I, didn't, I had zeros on those either way. Yeah. Uh, Paul had two, one, one, two. Zero. That's so six. six. Well, tie with you guys. I Ties had three, three, one, zero. Well, you had the same score as me, but then you had added to Lithuania. Lithuania fellow. He was out of the top ten. <laughs> he was out of the top ten? Seven. Yeah. <laughs> so you got more than one for him, then. It doesn't fucking matter, does it? If I have 15 or seven, I still lost. Well, it could matter once we go to Seth's score. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Seth. Okay. Seth had... Uh, Oh, Seth lost three. No, he beat one. he beat Fuad. Oh no, because really? he had, he didn't pick a six. Because Lithuania fellow is really gonna hurt his yeah, scores. Yeah, he had Bonak in third. Where was Lithuania fellow? No, let's just say sixteenth. 
Uh, well, here, would you I'll shut? Get, I'll, get, I'll get it for you, Paul. <laughs> Paul, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna shut you off the screen in a minute. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I, I think I had too much caffeine. A little jerk, jacked up tonight. Uh, okay, Lithuania, ninth. Ninth. So I had him at six. So that's three. Three. So I had nine. Four, four for Seth. Uh, so was three, four. seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Seth, Seth, Seth lost. lost. And I picked six, so I even I'm even more ahead. So yeah. Ian's reign of terror is over. Yeah, what? Mike won. Mike dethroned you. Holy shit! Yeah, it's just the start, boys. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, feel, I'm feeling good about my Tampa picks. I'm ready for Tampa. Mike's going on a tear for the rest of the yeah. year. Is Tampa this weekend? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm feeling confident in Tampa. All right, you, you got to listen. I let you guys get yeah, one. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. This, is, this is where it ends. That's it. <laughs> What it I'm, done, eh? I'm gonna win. I need you week. one because I started. I, to still, I want to know what I get. I know, let's just not breeze past this, you know. <laughs> I haven't got <laughs> what, anything. What I've, won, I've won 12 times this year, and I haven't got anything. Yeah, yeah but I've only have... won once. It's yeah, special Mike, now. Yeah, Mike, we gotta Mike, celebrate, Mike tonight. Mike dethroned you. We should celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Well, Say then something. you guys, because you were losers, you could buy them. I'm not putting shit. Well, I wasn't a loser. I was second place. <laughs> you lost so many weeks. What are you talking about? I haven't got well, and I pay my debts, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want you to grow your hair for four more weeks, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, anyway, okay. moving on. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's see. Tampa. Let's pick out some notables. Lewis Breed, Ooh. Tim, Tim Budazheim. Do I get it? Phil Klahar, let's see if he can come back from the last one. No, no, Phil's out. John De La Rosa, Muhammad Fuda, Dorian Haywood, Jordan Hutchison. It's a good lineup. On yeah. win, on win. De La Rosa looks amazing. Nathan Spear, Vlad, and Eric Wood. Those are that's a lot of standouts. Have we seen any updates on John? Uh yeah, John looks fucking incredible. Uh is there any in here or do I have to go to he his looks page? Bigger. John De La Rosa. There's some John De La Rosa. Here, let's go to his page. He posted an update recently. This is the back peeled. Oh, sorry. One thing I can say is John and uh, Patrick have really like learned to put it together. Yeah, they have. He looks awesome. Look at that. Yeah. That's okay. fucking. I he's my winner for the show. Yeah, I haven't picked the win too. Yeah. yeah, John's got a great back pull. Bye. He's got a great physique, period. Like, oh, for sure, yeah. I you know what the crazy? Forward. You know, I think his, I think his career as a whole, not that it's over, but like when I think back to earlier in his career, I think he, if he and Patrick had worked together sooner or he had figured it out sooner, look at that, his career would be very different. He's he really looks good now. Like he's really figured it out. Yeah, he's had a really consistently good career. Yeah, but now he's the thing. It's always kind of been his knock is he was never able to get peeled, peeled. And now I think they've kind of like, they've kind of figured it out. Yeah. All right, let's pick. We know. Well, we know. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Paul's going to want to see everybody. You know how he is. You know who oh, all these. No, I'm good for it. Can I see the list? Can I see the I list? I want to see it. The reigning, the reigning champ wants to see some people. <laughs> <laughs> we know who all these guys. Are. Is <laughs> Vlad? We saw a couple weeks ago. Yeah. You already know what he looks like. Yeah. Uh, we already know what. Tim looks like. This is Tim Budazheim. Is this Lewis Breed's first? Is this Lewis's first show this year? It might be Lewis's first show of the year, yeah. Uh, let's see. Lewis Breed, is he up here? Who does doing it? Eric Wood. Let's take a look at Eric Wood. These are <laughs> most recent updates. Just great from the front. He just needs more density from the back. Yep. Um... Eric Wood. Who else is over here that we need to take a look at? Is is, is Lewis, Lewis is, Breed? Uh, that's two twelve. Nate Spear. Let's take a look at Nate Spear. He's in Toronto already this year, right? This is Nate, Nate Spear. He didn't do Toronto, did he? I believe so. No, he this did a couple there. shows, but I don't think he did something. Toronto? He he did, he did do a couple. Of... Was it California that he did? It says it's Toronto right there in the update. Just a left pitcher oh, is four weeks out from four days out from Toronto. Oh yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Okay. Paul wasn't paying attention at the judges' table. Yeah, geez. A lot of shows. <laughs> I wonder he didn't get a good look. He didn't even see him, Paul. Didn't know he was there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just 
my joking. god. Oh my I'm just god. joking. I didn't mean any disrespect. We're gonna edit that out. We're gonna cut yeah, that. I mean that's not, I was just joking, no disrespect to me. <laughs> too late, buddy. Too late. Yeah, someone's gonna cut that, aren't they? Uh, Jordan <laughs> <laughs> looks good here and he's made a couple posing tweaks and stuff. So I yeah, I, I think Jordan's gonna get a better better look this time. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, he looks harder for sure. Yeah. He's working with Tuttle, right? Yeah. Got the arms up a little higher on that front double, which looks better, I think. Yeah, that side shot looks good on him. Yeah, the side leg, his hand is really nice. This front lat needs to be pulled out more. He's not pulling out his back at yeah, all. Yeah, I know. I, mm-hmm. I I look at that, and it's like, like it needs to be pulled out, and he needs to like maybe tilt down at the hip a little more. I'm mm-hmm. not quite yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's like pulling. his upper like chest and front delts are like a bit lost in there, and the lats don't look quite open, you know? He's retracting, he's retracting his shoulders too much backwards. Yeah. yeah. Back double looks great. Holy Back shit. Double, he still needs to get his arms up a little higher. Yeah, so he really likes to bring the hands down in that pose. Eh? Yeah, but he's look how... The front double, too, which he fixed, so I'm, I wonder why he's not fixed on the front double. Yeah. I don't mind that pose the way it is. No? No. I think you can make him look... A little bit. The, different, the, thing, the thing about that, guys, though, is if you pick the elbows up, you actually lose a little bit of thickness in the lat. I am, yeah. I, And I suspect that's why he's dropping his elbows there. I don't, yeah. I don't, for me, it's not so much the elbows out. I think it's more just turning, back. like rotating back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree with you there. But I agree if with you there. If brought them back a bit, it would bring it up just a little, you know? Right, 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 right. But anyway, aside from the pose, like this just looks way better than last week. Awesome. Yeah. The condition is yeah. definitely sharper. The detail is better. Like this yeah. is fucking crazy. He's I read two, a lot. 252. So, I mean, he's fucking, you know, he ain't small. It seemed like he was a little bit overlooked at prejudge at the last show, and then finals. I and think he was more out. recognized. Yeah, so I think yeah. he'll get a better look here. Um, I think this is a better lineup for him too. So mm-hmm. let's see who else is in here. Mo Fuda. Let's take a look at Mo again. This is most recent update. Probably phenomenal from the front. This no, this was two weeks out from Chicago. Oh, mm. it's the most recent post, but it's not. Is this most more recent? That's two weeks ago, too. Edited two weeks ago. Okay, so he hasn't posted anything new. But still, I mean, this is fucking crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully he has that tan John issue. Just got the John just got an edge in the back shots, you know? Yeah, I think so, too. I think so, too. Um. Okay, who else? Is there anybody else in here? Mo, Vlad, Tim, Jordan, Jan. I love Jan. I wish he could just get his conditioning right. You know. This is Jan in Chicago. I love this physique. He's thick as fuck, ton of muscle. Very complete. Everything's there. It's just not hard enough. Like, look at that. It's just there's nothing missing. Yeah, except for conditioning. Yeah, yeah. I just mean like muscularity wise. Yeah. Like, it's just. Yeah. Do you think his uh, Paul or Ian? Do you think his height has anything to do with it? Yes. Not being like a condition. conditioning. No, 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 not conditioning. Obviously, not conditioning. I'm talking about in a lineup. Like, do you think he gets lost of because of his height? You know, I think we talked about it before. Sometimes a lineup can sort of dictate the flow of a show. Like if he's a, if there's a bunch of monsters in the, you know, in the lineup with him, I think he gets overlooked. Yeah. But if he's, if it's a smaller lineup, you know, a little bit more balanced, you know, he's probably gonna stand up. Is this photoshopped? That's gotta be fucking wild. That's gotta (laughs) be a little bit. It's quads. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, let's go back. Um, where are we here? Jan, who else was there in here? Who's Felix Norman? I like Felix. Yeah, Felix turned pro North Americans a couple of years ago, and I was judging it. Um, conditioning is always great. I don't uh, know. Well, he did his a, first show. Is this because of the camera this angle, is, or is this no, uh, round two peak week round two? So I think he did Chicago. He did. He uh, he, I think he was like out of the top ten, I believe. Because he nails conditioning. Uh, he needs a little bit more muscle in the legs and back, but yeah, yeah. He, he, he's got a big guy who's got a good frame and gets wait, really conditioned. Wait, I like this shot. He's actually pretty complete. He just needs more muscle in the limbs. Good detail just needs more yeah. more muscle to his frame. Yeah. Yeah. Conditioning is phenomenal. Yeah. He's a big guy, too. He's got a, you you know, know got a big he, frame to fill out. Do you know how old he is? He turned pro just two years ago. Um, I don't know how old he is. I want to say early 30s. Some good improvements there, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's up like 15 pounds from his from his uh, yeah. amateurs. 241 to 253. Uh, good for good for him. It's hard to make improvements at this level, man. You see somebody do that. Mm-hmm. That's good for the good side chest. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so. Let's get into it. Um stop that. Okay. We can't uh, see. I know you can't. Relax. So I gotta put Seth's picks in because he couldn't get on tonight, but he sent me his picks. 
but I'm going to wait till the end so that he doesn't influence anybody. Yep. So I guess uh, that means I'm first because I was second last. So I'm going to go with uh, John first. Should we? Are we picking all or just picking one at a time? I got all mine if I can go. I'm pretty I got mine. I'm the winner. Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the winner. Like, so is there, any, is there any perks to winning? Hey, the is winner goes. The, the, the winner. <laughs> tell me, tell me when you figure them out because I have none. The winner. I can tell you what happens goes, when you lose. The winner goes last. That's that's your perk. Okay. Um. All right, Mike. You said it. Go ahead, John. John F- Fuda. Yep. Vlad Hutchinson. Yep. Tim. Read my mind. And then if we pick a six Spears, Nate Spears. Uh, okay. Anybody else want to fill it in? I like how you Nate Spears and Fuda. What's wrong with that? I thought it was Fuda. Spear and Fuda. About this last year. It's F O. It's on his Instagram well. is two. It's two O's. two O's, man. I don't think so. I mean, think no, is... on his name, on his screen name, it's two O's, but yeah, his well, handle is just. Hey, two. your name think... is your Instagram name. I don't give a fuck about your real name. I think yeah. you can spell it either way. Sure. Yeah, I think... <laughs> we can do whatever we want. <laughs> you know, my favorite thing about when whatever Paul's wrong, he's just like, yeah, well, well <laughs> both ways work. <laughs> you can pronounce it both ways. It's yeah. so fucking frustrating. <laughs> but like he always is, he's a little bit right. Like if we That's ask right. him, he'd be like either works, you know. That's right, yeah. Yeah, there's always a little bit of truth to it. All right, Foda. Hey, are you happy? Okay, who wants to go next? I don't actually. I'll go. Okay, go. Yeah, I think my picks are the fucking same as Mike. So I mean, John, my Foda, Vlad. Between Tim and Jordan. Um, are we going six? Yeah, I think we should go six because I think a lot of us are going to have very similar top three fours. Uh, Tim beat him at the last show, but he does. Paul, look do, a- Paul do you want to go? Yes, John. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Vlad, Fuda, Hutchison. I'm going to stop there for now until I can see a list. You already lost. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to see a list before, and I want to see a list. <laughs> Those last two of a little <laughs> shaky, huh? Ian? Uh, fuck. The pressure's too high on me now for these. I got to win again. Um, <laughs> the pressure's off, that's, man. That's when you make mistakes, Ian. Yeah. Vlad Hutchinson. I don't okay, know. I'm, I'm calling it right now. I'm going to look at the list before I lock this in. Okay, let me see it then. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just saying before you guys fuck with me. See, but then if I go, I'm gonna go the same as you. If I don't go the same as Mike, so it's hard. Stop whining. Okay. All right. Well, so you pick six. Oh, Lewis breeds. Yeah, I too. forgot about Lewis. Oh, Klahar. What if Klahar fucks with us all? No. Oh, on win too. On win, I don't think we'll be conditioned enough. Yeah, yeah I agree. Like uh, Eric Wood, the Lewis Lewis Breed is the only one that's fucking with me. Yeah, okay, I'm good. Let's take a look at Lewis Breed just just real quick because we didn't get a chance to look at him. He's always conditioned. He's a Listen, big dude. He doesn't have he doesn't have a beautiful physique. No, but he's got a lot of muscle and he's always in shape. Yeah, yeah neither is Vlad though. You know, mm-hmm. he has a weird he has a a way of sneaking in, man. Like I wouldn't be yeah. shocked if he was in the top five. Like he's got big fucking legs. He's got a lot of muscle up top. He's a little bit blocky in the midsection. But like look at that when he opens up. Like that's pretty impressive front double. Yeah, he's a big guy. Big back. There's a little bit left to be desired in the hamstrings. Yeah, the hands and glutes I'd like to see a little harder. Yeah. But like look at that side shot. Like thick fucking shoulder, tricep. Leg looks really good from the side. Okay, I'm ready for it. I don't know. That's tricky. Look how thick he is. How many weeks old is this? I feel like the stomach might hold him back, though. The thickness of his midsection? Yeah. One week ago. Well, this one is week one week. Like, when you look at that side, that quarter turn he did at the start. Like, yeah. watch watch when I put this back on. This right there. Yeah. Lower abs. I feel like that's going to hold him back a bit. Hopefully he can control that better on stage. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, 
I don't know if I'm going to pick him in the top five, but I wouldn't be shocked if he ends up in there. Yeah. Okay, Paul. Uh, one sec. Go ahead. Lewis. Ooh. Tim. Tim. Lewis ahead of Tim. Yeah, I think Lewis is coming in. He's fresh. He hasn't done a show yet this year. Tim, this is what, his fourth show at least now? So you have Hutchison fourth. Oh, you have... What? I feel what good about you... my picks. So you put... I got Vlad ahead of Foda. You guys all have Foda. Yeah, Vlad. that's right. So me and Ian, so Mike, John, Flat, Foda, Vlad. Yeah. Hey, I, the I, only I, thing the only thing I'm torn about is these two. Yeah, me too. That's where I'm stuck right now. I feel like Hutchison's better, but I feel like Tim just outmuscles him. Mm -hmm. And Tim's and, getting fucking crazy and, shape. And, this Tim, year. and Tim's going to stay in shape. So I feel yeah. like, but why are you saying that, Paul? You have Hutchison ahead of Tim. I'm just betting that I think Tim's done so many shows now that conditioning's not going to be able to hold and Lewis is going to come in fresh. Yeah, that is a possibility. I think Lewis's shape will hold him back, though. Tim's shape isn't, you know, that much better. Yeah, yeah, you're, you know what, listen, I'm I'm right there with you. I Like, Lewis, like I said, when we were talking about him earlier, I wouldn't be shocked if he snuck in. Yeah. He's going to be bigger than Hutchison. Yeah, this is Tim, yeah. this is Tim's sixth show of the year. You know what? That's Six actually, already? Holy listen, shit. I might I might put Lewis in fourth. Do it. Because I think he's going to be much thicker than Hutchison. Hmm. I don't know if he's better than Tim. Okay, I'm ready to go. What, what was their placings uh, the last show together? Because it was Tim fourth and Jordan fifth? No. Tim was third, Nathan was fourth, Jordan was fifth. Okay. Go ahead, Ian. I'm going to go Tim, Jordan. Uh, I'm between Lewis and Yang. Uh, no, no, I'm going to go Lewis, I think. <laughs> I think I'm going to go Lewis. Fuck. We're fuck. done. That's it. Locked in. Oh, yep. Fuck you. So... Fuck you. <laughs> no, you you fucking you can't do this. You've been fucking Paul on this shit. Yeah, I just I, I just said to you before we started, I said I'm not locked in yet. Fuck I made you. it I I perf I made it like a once you put it in the box though. Cheater, so. cheater, fucking fuck Okay, you. fuck you. I won't cheat. Fine. I won't cheat. I'll leave it. Even though you guys both know I was saying I'm not done yet, but I'll leave it. That's fine. <laughs> I I actually think I actually think Lewis is <clears throat> is going to shock people because he's very fucking... I, I don't think it's a bad guess. No, yeah. I don't. I, I just think... The thing is, Hutchinson's more polished, but... Yeah, and probably a little bit more aesthetic. <clears throat> Lewis is so big, though. I'm like, I yeah. don't know, man. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's it. We'll see what happens. Uh, what, what, what were Seth's picks? Oh, I forgot to put them in. One sec. I'll just share so everybody can see what's going on here. Seth picked... Uh, Foda. Really? V job? John, Tim, Vlad, Jordan. Well, let's put make it uniform. Hutchison, and I'll pick Lewis for him for okay. six. I think hmm. Seth's gonna lose. Yeah, Seth isn't doing so well with picks. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? He was second last week with me. Was he? Me and him tied, oh, for yeah, second, yeah. tied for second last week. Yeah. What? Yeah, last week you won, and me and Seth oh, tied for second. Week. Yeah. 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 Sometimes we got to go back and check those scores sometimes, though. Sometimes I, think, I don't think we had them up right. <laughs> if we don't, people text me and, and, or message me on Instagram and let me, me know. Me too. Me oh, too. And even when we were, even though last week, even if we were wrong, you were off by like eight points. There was two guys uh, who was like Phil Clahar really, really hurt. You know how many week. messages I got? That people said you picked Phil twice. Really? Yes. <laughs> no. Like yeah. it, you mean people messaged I... me. Remember, remember that your scoreboard had Phil twice? Yeah. Yeah. Well, people kept messaging me going, Paul did pick Phil twice. We went back and checked the podcast. Really? <laughs> <laughs> did anybody say that I didn't have it that way? No. <laughs> so you had like 
You had like 40. I would. I would. I swear to God. Because I remember it too, because we were laughing at you. Because I'm like, you put Phil twice. And then you're like, no, I didn't. Oh. I wanna... And then I said, I, you said, I want to change it. I go, no, it's too late. It's That's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed at the last minute you let me change it. <laughs> you guys said it's in the box. It's in the box. <laughs> All right. Um, is there anything else we got to cover? No? Well, you've noticed. I don't know if you can see it on the computer here, Fuad, but my eyes are all fucked up. Yeah, we should talk about this just in case anybody watching has any insight. Yeah, so I have a couple of theories on it. Um, why, don't, why don't you tell? You can't really see it. It just looks can dark. You see it? Can you see Whoa. it? Whoa. Yeah. So Paul's Whoa. got, Paul's got, up? Paul's yeah. got like a burst blood vessel in both eyes. So it started last week. I had one, like a small one. It kind of started to fade. And then all of a sudden I woke up like two days ago and my whole fucking right eye was like blood. And then the next day, my left eye fucking same thing happened so i got a little bit freaked out so i went to the doc i went to right i went to my eye doctors and he did an exam on me and he said it's just surface um like the the vessels on the surface just burst he said there's nothing deeper than that nothing to worry about he checked you know he did some tests or whatever he told me to monitor my blood pressure my blood pressure has been fine but this is fucked up so i was telling fuad today i thought of what it might be i've been going in the pool a lot lately uh, oh. and I've always, i always wear my goggles in the pool so I'm wondering, like, maybe if I already had a broken blood vessel, like the pressure from having my goggles on underwater, you think that might have, like, forced it to, like... Oh, wait, so you're always... You don't go in the water without goggles on? No, I always wear goggles. Even if you're just, like, going to stand around in there? I usually don't just stand around in there. Like, Paul's just standing... Paul swims. The I'm there to work. I'm there Paul to work. <laughs> when Paul's in the pool, he's in the fucking pool. I play in the pool. I get my <laughs> girls in there. We fuck around. I, I got this couple of games we play in there. It's, it's, I, I like to have fun in the pool. <laughs> But so I don't just stand around in the pool. But so I always got my goggles on. So I'm wondering, like, if there was already a broken blood vessel, did that make it worse? You know. But can I add something to this? This is like happens to Paul actually pretty frequently. This is Paul probably the fourth time. Not this bad though. No, no, no. This one's worse. Yeah. But but yeah. I just mean like, if somebody has any insight that's watching, if they're going to comment, because I know this is stupid that we're asking people online, but like, people usually know something. This has happened like the fourth time this year. Not this year, no. And about the last two years is about the fourth time it's happened. But, yeah, but like, like I said, this is by but for far example, the worst one. But for example, I've never had this happen. Never in your but life? Like, I've never had. So I'm like, it's just strange four times. And like, I did I, have yeah. last week. But I didn't even notice that Melissa noticed it. In the inside of this eye, I had a bunch of really muscles. But yeah. I, I don't know. It never like pooled like this though. Um, I, I do sneeze every morning though. Like about three or four times. <laughs> every morning? Every morning. You mean like religiously? Are you holding them back? Are you no, like, or no, are you them out? no, I let them out and they're like, they're pretty good sneezes. Like they're every, pretty... every morning, like this is like a, a constant, a continuous thing. Yeah. That's my wife. You yeah. do it before or after you shit. Or Usually you, before. And then it instigates the shit. I'm just... No, it doesn't instigate it. No. <laughs> I have seen this. You know what? Routine. Can I tell you that's the worst when that happens? I don't mean to talk about shit again on the you podcast. Shit, you're like, like, oh, I gotta, yeah. you no, sneeze. like if you sit down to shit and then you sneeze and it makes you shit. Oh yeah. Cause then you miss the good part. <laughs> <laughs> It happens too fast. <laughs> I want to. Con- I, <laughs> I want to control the descent. <laughs> You're not too quick. It's just like, oh. <laughs> it's like it over. <laughs> That's so I funny. I never sneezed and shit. At the Ian, I never had that happen. Ian just hit it on the fucking head. It's, uh, the good part was gone. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, no, you sneeze and like forces you out. Like, oh, at the same time, you're you're shitting, like physically shitting. You've never yeah. sat down, had to shit, and then coughed or sneezed at the same time, and then like shit it while you cough. Uh, yeah, I've <laughs> coughed and I've definitely had that happen, but not sneeze. It ruins it. it ruins okay. The yeah. okay, okay. I know anyway. what you're saying. Back All to right. the, back to the important part. Uh, if anybody knows what's wrong with Paul's eyes, can you please please yeah. comment in the comment section? Let us. I'm know having a rough you. time right now because I hurt my back the other day too. And and my foot, my callus, my foot that caused my wife's from my wife's tile floors has, has come back too. I'm having a rough time right now. Yeah, yeah, came back pretty hard this time. Go, we're gonna start you a GoFundMe. <laughs> I'm not having a good go right now. The hair, help, our, the hair help our vampire zombie friend with a fucked up foot. <laughs> yeah, and back and 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 wispy hair. Paul, your neck, your, your neck, your next T-shirt is gonna be your face with just bloody eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of scary if eh, when you see me well no you don't look scary i would be a little bit concerned if it kept happening to me yeah not that like you're gonna die or anything but i just want to know why I, uh, tight you, know, you have those goggles on they're pretty tight i don't want to get any water in there so i do keep them pretty tight 
What are you so worried about? I don't even use really? goggles I go to the pool. I, I love my goggles. I got a good pair. I love them. <laughs> why don't you get like, do you why you like get Olympic the... swimmer tight? Like they're yeah. fucking right in there. I get, yeah. like, I get like a big like snorkeling. Yeah, why don't you get Oh the no, I don't use those. No, I use the like a like Olympic swimmer type. No, no, no like but... speedos on. Yeah. But that are, speedos, they, are they reflective or clear? Uh they're 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 tinted. Nice. <laughs> I like that. They yeah, have like sunglasses. They have a prescription in them. You, you know? protect from <laughs> you're protecting from the chlorine and the sun. It's right. Yeah. <laughs> the UV rays. When, when you have weak blood vessels in your eyes, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, which I didn't know I had. <laughs> Where did Ian go? Oh, I lost Ian. <laughs> this poof, he's gone. Why don't you wear the other ones? That way, it's like maybe there's more room. It'd be less pressure. I don't know. No, nah, I don't like those. You don't um, like the ones with the nose, like with the nose attached. No, no, like the scuba like ones. Got to ease the ease the pressure on the goggles a bit, man. Yeah, maybe maybe, <laughs> maybe. loosen loosen the strap a bit. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. Like you know, for like yesterday I was kind of a, I was kind of concerned. I was a little bit of a mess yesterday. You was, know what though? I, head. This is you obviously... go to an optometrist. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I go like I go to see one regularly, anyways. Like I got like an annual eye exam. Uh, so I called him in the morning and I told him what happened. And uh, I said, you know, can I come in and see you today? He's like, yeah, yeah. So I came in and he did like a full exam on me and uh, found nothing wrong. Um, did you tell him your goggles theory? No, I just thought of that tonight. It's actually not a bad theory. I know. That's probably it. Yeah, I think it might be. Plus, I take a baby aspirin every day. So <laughs> I probably bleed more. Like when I, if I do. Why are you, why are you laughing at him? <laughs> Like, just, like, we're just grabbing at straws right now. Like, and I did look directly at the sun for like a second of the day. So, <laughs> so there's a couple different theories. It could be you know, the, the cause, first, the first rupture, the rupture came from the sneeze. Goggles made it worse. The baby aspirin's making it bleed more. Did you sneeze with the goggles on? No. You took the well, I may have. I don't remember because I usually sneeze just <laughs> in the morning. I don't go seven in the morning usually. <laughs> I'm I'm really like I'm kind of fascinated by this morning sneeze thing. Is it like? Yeah, me too. You're still in bed when you wake up, or is this like you've gotten out of bed, or is it after you shower? Like no, is... that after I get out of bed, sometime within that first thirty minutes in the morning, I'll sneeze yeah, three I times. Do the same thing. I have a sneeze. Yeah. Best. So. I remember, okay, one of my favorite Jay Cutler videos ever. It was uh, one of those jaywalking videos, him and, him and uh, Dave. Yeah. Um, so they're in the car, and then and, and um, Dave says something like that. He's like, you know, every morning I wake up and I sneeze yeah. a few times. And Jay's like, uh, that's because you got a deviated septum. And okay. Dave's just like, oh, I do? And he's like, yeah. He's like, you're going to have to get it operated on. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> like he's a doctor. Dave's like, oh, okay. <laughs> but like that's serious. It was funny that I ever saw. But yeah, I think he was serious about it too. But you think so well, anyways, you, and Mike, you and Mike both wear CPAPs to sleep though. I've been trying to wear mine again recently. I didn't wear it for months after my uh, nose you operation. Still did, you still did it even with the CPAP. Yeah, with or without. Still yeah, sneeze. but wait a minute. You had your deviated septum fixed. So why are you still sneezing? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Mike, Mike, do you have a deviated septum? No, no, both nostrils yes, are fine. He does. He's got a big <laughs> bird. He burned a hole through his nose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mine was naturally <laughs> narrowed too. Oh, uh, sure, yeah. Naturally, <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm natural too. I'm natural. <laughs> they say you're born with it. We're born with it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, let's do some questions. Unless there's something else, is there anything bodybuilding related that we have not covered that we should cover? Covered the prize money. We covered Dubai. We covered Tampa. We covered Rubiel. Any other news? No? Okay. Uh, let's do some questions. The one sport you will watch at the Olympics, if any, aside, aside from track and field for Ian. Basketball. That's that's your uh, buddy there. Um, Did you – who asked this? Jug off. Oh, uh, Julie. Um, yeah. You know you can bet on Olympic sports too? No, I didn't. I thought you could bet on everything, though. Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely betting on some fucking track and field. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, but how much are you going to win by betting on, like, Usain Bolt? Is oh, Usain I'm not going to bet on... Is no, Usain you don't bet... reti... Is Usain Bolt retired? He's retired. Yeah, that's, what I thought. that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. No, but, like, I could bet on, like, who's going to come seventh or what kind of times they're going to run, you know? Hey, did you... The one if thing... I could, I... If I could guess, like, what second place, who it is, and what time they run, you know? Yeah. You know the one clip I did. I, the one clip I did see was the women's four hundred meter relay. That fucking girl ran a nine four six in the final stretch. Really? Who? The girl. I think it was the USA team. 
Oh, in the the four by one hundred. Yeah, that's sorry, that's what I meant. Um, just, four by four ain't nobody run the last hundred. No, nine. no, no. I didn't mean. Yeah, no. Um, Harry Richardson. They already did relay. Dude, I don't know, man. I saw a clip. I've never seen anybody run that fast in my fucking life. I was like, I couldn't fucking believe it. Short, short girl with crazy long braids. Yeah, 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 yeah. Harry. It, it was, it was fucking insane. He's probably like the best female hundred runner right now. You gotta like, watch the sprint documentary on Netflix. It's good. Hey, oh, I watch started it. watching that. That'll give you a little bit of up to date. I mean, it's I don't love it, but it's it's good. No, good what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? I don't know. I just don't like some of the characters. Like Noah Lyles, I find like the most fucking insufferable human ever. So yeah, but if you don't know anything about it, is it informing? Is it informative? Yeah, oh yeah, you'll definitely learn some shit, and you'll learn like the key players in like the one and two. Yeah, you know what we didn't discuss that I'm curious about. I didn't hear as much uproar as I thought I would about the opening ceremonies and all what? the I heard so much, man. On, on Twitter. I mean, usually time. well, I'm not on Twitter, but usually usually like my um my YouTube feed is full of like news and shit and all that stuff kind of like pops up from all oh, the different all the yeah. different news channels. I didn't really see that much. Even There's Trump co- even Trump commented on it and said Did it was he? a disgrace. Yeah. 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 Well they 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 like I think they apologized for it now too. It's been such such backlash. What was but... it supposed to represent that image? It was like the last apostle, like the dinner the last, supper. The last supper, yeah. The last was... supper, but then they're saying that it wasn't and that they were using but it's like it clearly was the depiction, even if you had like, you know, it was a Greek god painted blue and fucking all this other shit. But like I saw, I don't know, I could send it to you. There's like one, there's a fucking one of the guys has got his nuts hanging out I of know. the fucking do you saw that? Yeah. Yeah. What, what the fuck? Can you guys why like a, tra- a tranny fucking drag show and shit? And like it's just yeah. what are you doing? Like you why know? why like what's that have to do with sports? Like why I, I just don't said, understand I, that. I just that's exactly what I was gonna say is I don't know why sports can't just be sports. Well, that you was know, all I find I weird about it. I understand an opening ceremony not to having anything to do with sports because I think a lot of the times the opening ceremony is celebrating maybe the culture, culture. Of the country. Like if you think of Beijing, like it wasn't sports stuff. They were like playing crazy drums and it was very Asian oriented, Chinese oriented. So I don't think it needs to be sports related, but like this was just fucking way like off, like crazy yeah. off. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. And they just don't think it's so well, woke. Like they were doing like a whole thing of women in sport. And then they did this fucking, you know, uh, walk with the, uh, drag queens and they did this whack oh, i have a i have a question though whack, uh, last supper like it was just weird you know, you know what sorry. i find weird though I, I so want... like go ahead wait, sorry paul remember the beginning they were like we're gonna give the athletes like cardboard beds so they can't have yeah. sex and stuff but then you make the whole opening ceremony sexualized yeah yeah you know like it seems yeah. hypocritical but i um, think i think the cardboard beds i think they say that but i i think the point of the cardboard beds is not anything to do with sex i think it's just because they're recyclable, there's so many athletes. It's cheap. Oh. Um, you know, there's ten thousand athletes, so like yeah. they have to put them in like in the dormitories and make these beds. Even the mattresses are made of like a styrofoam kind of stuff. Oh, uh, so, like it's all like that. It's like recyclable shit. I don't think it has anything to do with actually not like making them fuck. I think it's just to. Oh, I thought it was like the term more for like just yeah for environmental purposes and and shit like that. And okay, cost. so so I have a pretty simple question: if there's all this um gender neutral stuff and trans stuff and all that in the opening ceremonies how do they explain the women's sprinting and the men's sprinting and the fucking all the different like women's and men's sports well, what, are they, do- what are they, they doing what are they doing about it saying anything to do with that i think they were just i, I don't really know what they were going for exactly but no I mean, but uh, but hold on i'm not saying I, we don't see gender they're just saying like this is stuff that's artistic and part of our culture or some fucking shit i don't know what they're saying but Mm. French are freaky, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, like uh, drag, fucking, you know that. Yeah, the Greek gods. I, I don't. I didn't really get the whole thing, to be honest. But Steven Seagal, Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris got to pick one to team up with and fight the remaining two in a death match. Chuck Norris, Steven Seagal, Chuck Norris, and who else? I'm taking Bruce Lee. I'm taking Bruce, Bruce Lee for sure. He's only a real fighter, right? is he? No, Chuck no, Norris. Chuck Norris is a real fighter. So is Steven Seagal. Well, it's Steven Seagal, though, for real. Yeah, even what? Seagal's got a black belt and like a keto or some shit. Yeah, but that's a completely it. useless martial art. Yeah. It's not useless. Dude, people in, in real martial arts like laugh at Steven Seagal. Like, think he's like, no, just, they laugh at Steven Seagal. They don't laugh at a keto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so, but doesn't he claim that be a master like, and everything? Running, running at him and he puts his hand out and they like, do yeah. three flips. And they're like, fly away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and he never breaks, he never like breathes heavy, breaks his sweat, yeah. nothing. It's just effortless. But I think they're all <laughs> actual, but I, but I think they're all actually like have taken martial arts. They're not fake. Like, Chuck Norris is a real fighter. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So, Mike, you're taking Chuck Norris? 
kick the shit out of fucking Steven Seagal. Yeah, but Bruce <laughs> Bruce Lee will kick the shit out of both of them. Hey, Bruce Lee's this big. Yeah, but he's gonna <laughs> hit. He's gonna hit you. Fit. Chuck Norris, dude. In a real street, like, Chuck Norris is probably the right pick. To be honest, I don't think so. I think Bruce Lee's gonna hit you sixteen times before you get your hands on him. I'm saying Bruce yeah, Lee. Like, like, what was that? that caused like minimal damage. You know? <laughs> yeah, but if he can distract you with punches. Hit, yeah. I can then punch you with a, like a big, big three hundred pounder, right? If you're, if you're if you're worried about Bruce Lee, and then all of a sudden I come from the side with a big right hand, a cheap shot. <laughs> I come in with a cheap shot, yeah, yeah, sucker punch. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, I'm just picturing Fuad being that guy at like a bar fight. You know? it's like all his boys are getting in a fight, and then the second the guy's back is to him, Fuad's just like it comes in out of nowhere. <laughs> You Why see not? me knock that guy out? Yeah. yeah. He wasn't looking, <laughs> but I still got him. One punch <laughs> wonder. Yeah. I've never done that, by the way, Ian. Anyways. <laughs> um, we all know those guys, though. Yeah. If you could be any goat from any sport aside from bodybuilding, who would you pick? And Ian could not pick Usain Bolt. <laughs> I'm literally <laughs> Usain Bolt. Uh, can, I, can I pick another sprinter? I don't care. Oh, okay. That's who you would pick out of all the sports? No, I probably would pick Michael Jordan, but I'm going to go with Michael Jordan or Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't like Tom Brady. I do. I, I. But I was going to go with Muhammad Ali, but I don't want to be punch drunk. Yeah, yeah. I want to get punched in the face. Although Mike yeah. Tyson's are a good one. Yeah, he's lived with some hard demons, though, bro. I don't think you want to be in that head. I want to be a fucking coked up Lawrence Taylor. Just fucking... <laughs> that's a good <laughs> pick. That's a good, that's a good pick. Michael, Ir- Michael Irvin, Rab- rabid Michael Irvin. dog. I saw Michael Irving at a hotel in downtown Miami in like 2000. Wait, did you say Irving? Michael Irving? Yeah. There's no yeah. G. There's no G. Irving? I, I got you back, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> they play in Irving, Texas. So you know. I, saw at, I saw him at like the fucking some fancy hotel in downtown Miami in like Brickle, uh, like 2022 or 2021. And he was there with like, two like 21 year old like smoking hot models you know really <laughs> yeah and i'm pretty sure he's like legally married too it's just there yeah. like two <laughs> bitches getting out of the fucking like black sedan or black uh, suv you know <laughs> going uh, into the- lawrence taylor's walter payton would be going too. both yeah. both Bo fucking jackson would be a good one uh short career but, that, though. but those aren't like goat go like when you say goat michael jordan there's not really like a bigger goat yeah, yeah. Unless you go like I hockey, like Wayne Gretzky would be a good one too. Yeah. He's like kind of out of the limelight, which would be nice, you know. Yeah. yeah, but is there a bigger like? Think about it. Is there a bigger goat in any sport than Michael Jordan? Not monetarily, no. Yeah, but not even just. Well, yeah. I mean, I think like when you think of Fame. guys, like Michael Phelps, like he's definitely a, the goat of all goats in terms of his sport. But like, it's different, you know. I guess I'm talking more about not necessarily like how many wins, but I guess I'm talking more about impact, like Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods like, pretty good for a while. Yeah. Just whacking yeah. golf balls and banging strippers and hookers. Yeah, he had some mess. He had a mess <laughs> stuff, but I'm sure they've all had their shit. So, okay, Tiger... hold, so hold on. I'm talking about impact in your sport. Is there a bigger goat than Michael Jordan? I mean, you could argue like Muhammad Ali's impact to boxing is bigger than anything. Arnold's in bodybuilding. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm still going to stick with MJ because, like, the Jordan brand to like be that and all that, you know, everything that comes with it, I think would be pretty cool. So, yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty hard to yeah. top. Um, if you had to guess what percentage of high level athletes are on sauce, specifically UFC and NFL, argued with my buddy for over an hour about this on Saturday during the fights. If I, I had to, really if I had to guess the percentage, I'm going to fucking say minimum 85%. Minimum for sure. If you're talking Olympic sports, I think it's a lot lower. I think if you're talking like NFL, UFC, stuff like that, I would say it's probably at least 40 to 60 percent. Yeah. You'd go that low. Are you serious? Do you think wait a minute, Ian? Let's parse it out. Do you think anybody in the NFL is natural? Yes. I do. How many? What percentage? The majority percentage for sure. Fuck no way, man. Yeah. Like, do I think I do I think most quarterbacks are running sauce? Probably not. I mean. You know, but using I, something for recovery, probably. No fucking way, man. Maybe, you tell me maybe not necessarily guys, anabolics. You think those but, guys, man, man, my buddy went to, my, like, Mike, I'm surprised. Look, I know there this. is lots of guys, and I've known guys firsthand that are UFC or play college ball or NFL ball that go on to play, you know, college that go on, that I know are using stuff. So I know it is high, but I don't think it's the overwhelming majority. I think there's lots, but I, I would say it's less than 50% for sure. I would, I would, say, that, the whole I would say that the guys league. in the NFL, like the – 
Like you gotta think about the biggest guys in the NFL, like linemen. A lot of those guys are just naturally that big of a human being. Yeah, so, but you're naturally that big, but you're not naturally that fast. Like, no, but something the, they are they are they are the best of the best of so their freaks, right? Like they're yeah. there's big guys running fucking they played football their whole life. So I would I would think that more guys probably get into it later in their career to keep their career going. Yeah, for recovery and stuff I from injuries. I wouldn't think that they're that they got where they're going because of the juice. I what would you say it was in uh when you play college? Oh, wait a football, minute, though. Mike. That's a that's a different statement. I'm not saying they got where they're going because of the juice. You're just saying guys. No, but I'm saying it's like I think it's just a, I think it's just like something to like to keep them on the path that they're on, but I think that like their natural genetics and everything carried them to like the prominence they are. And now they're just having to like, when they're starting to fall off, they're trying to catch up again. Right. I think I, when we're I, talking this, I think that the guys that are using shit, I don't think guys are cranking cycles. Like I think if they're using, you know, maybe some peptides or maybe no, using some growth hormone, maybe TRT, you know, like, I don't think they're like hammering 500 milligrams a test, you no, know, no, no one's saying that they're, they're doing, oh, I know I'm just clarifying for the audience. I'm so. not, I'm not saying like they're doing like trend cycles. I'm saying <laughs> that'd be sick though. Every single person. Oh, there were some guys in the NFL who were like massive, like David Boston. I don't know if you remember David Boston. Oh, what's, what's the oh, receiver? Fuck? Yeah. He was fucking huge, bro. He was yeah. jacked what's out of the, his fucking mind. Oh, Sean Merriman got caught with a bunch of fucking DECA or something too, right? Oh, a bunch of guys, yeah. uh, Bill Romanowski. Uh, but then, from what I've, I've read, I've ever watched. Yeah, you could uh, tell Romanowski was on. He was unhinged. Yeah. Bro. He would yeah. go on the field with his well, helmet well, on and try and tackle people. Correct me if I'm wrong, that though. Year, in that year of NFL, I would agree that probably 80% of guys were using sauce, but their drug testing wasn't really i don't think they do much now but i think it was definitely not anything back then well that's what i was gonna say i thought i saw a podcast once where i think it was victor conte talking about the nfl testing where they set the bar even higher yes so that to the, the, sure ratio, no the ratios test. that they let as, as a possible are different than what ioc testing is for yeah, sure okay. olympic yeah. testing is very very stringent um and they test a lot of different markers to like really make sure nothing sneaks through the cracks um uh, nfl football is very is much easier i think to finagle through I think they don't want guys to fail. Right. Where well, yeah, Olympics, for sure. The Olympics, they want people to fail. I think. Yeah. You know, like I, I have a b very different opinion on it, man. I think these guys are playing for massive contracts. I think it's very competitive, and I don't. And I think they're doing whatever they have to do to get the edge, whether it be in recovery, whether it be in speed, whether it be in power, whatever. Obviously, their genetics are taking them there, just like bodybuilding. The, the best bodybuilders in the world would still be the best bodybuilders in the world if they were natural. They're just better because they're on steroids. So it's the same thing I think applies to other sports. The best football players are still going to be the best football players, but these guys are all – with the amount of money they're making and the amount of fucking competitiveness there is, I can't believe that they're not going that extra mile to be like, yeah, you know what? Maybe a couple hundred milligrams of test a week is going to help me be a little stronger or recover a little faster or a little GH is going to help me with my injuries. Like, it just I, seems, don't, I don't disagree. It seems I, I very – like. Yeah. far fetched think, to think that does not happening. I think no, the term I, yeah, go ahead. being natural or not can be like what someone use something to get over an injury. Does that make him unnatural now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The, but but what is he what if he only uses it for the recovery of that injury and then goes off? Doesn't off? matter. You're using well, that, a performance what... enhancing aid to recover right. to get back to competition. So I agree. Look, Fuad, I I definitely agree that I think it's rampant, but I think saying like more than 50% of the league is like that's an astronomical number. I think there's lots, but I also agree with Mike. Okay, that I think, let me. Okay, let me I ask think you this: These yeah. leagues, like the NFL, are also just made up of fucking freaks, and Agreed. I think a lot of them are not worried about that stuff, and their performance is good, and I think they they're not like sweating or risking that kind of stuff. But I think there's a lot of guys that are. So I think I, mean, I I would go sixty forty at highest, and sixty being not taking anything. Let me I would say it's like in the NFL too. It's a lot of guys like I wouldn't say so many skill guys are using it in terms of receivers. And I agree. I don't think that that's, like yeah. maybe running backs here and there, but like quarterbacks, and receivers, like that, yeah, linebackers, and like defensive guys end. in the in the box, like linemen and linebackers. Yeah, they got a beat. Safeties like these guys are like high impact. Like boom, 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 boom. every yeah. play is impact. So it's like you can see where those guys would want to be. They need that power they need that uh, they need that aggressiveness they need that everything right so yeah i don't, I don't guys... think like a ton of a ton of dbs and but i think but wide outs and shit are, are cranking shit yeah but guys if you take a guy like if you take a quarterback uh that's taking a beating every week they're they're using something for recovery man they're not just gonna be like you know what it's cool i'm just gonna recover naturally like i know I, I just i think they're doing everything they can I, look i'm sure there is guys that are but I think that these guys are also doing everything in their power. They're like fucking doing 
all the yeah. ice bath, red but lights. That's, but that's dog. my point. But that's my point. But that's exactly my point is when your contract is worth millions, you're doing everything in your power, which means yeah. I'm going to do the ice bath. I'm going to do the red light therapy. I'm going to do the deep tissue massage, but I'm also going to take this pharmacy growth hormone. That's going to help me recover faster. Yeah, I guess. I think some people have a higher natural predisposition for the risk taking of maybe getting caught or not, or I mean, when was the last time we even heard but of do someone? you think, but do you think these guys are worried about getting caught? Like, do oh, you well, think that's I'm, what I'm saying. I don't, do think, I don't know. Uh, I don't me, know how often. Me, when was the last time this. you even heard of someone get caught for juice in the NFL? I don't even know. That's, but that's well, what happens all the time still, but it's, still, it's not publicized very heavily. Is that okay? And the other, thing, that, I, the other thing I want to ask you guys is, is it what is it if you did it once or for a certain portion of your career, are you still natural? Like, let's say a guy's in college and he's like, hey, I'm going to get drafted. If I'm a little faster, if I run the 40 a little faster, if I get a few more tackles this year, I'm going to get drafted for millions of dollars. You don't think these college guys are fucking doing juice? Of course they are. I was doing juice in college. I played football. But this is yeah, what, that's what I was going to ask you, Mike. How, much, how, how prevalent was it when you played college? I would say there was... It was mainly taking place in the D-line and the O-line. And yeah. that's about it. Really? Eh? Like the, the big guys, like... Yeah, I agree. Power need that strength, but like none of my none of the running backs on my team even would touch it. None of my the corners, none of those guys. Like they're just freaks. Even some of the D linemen and O linemen, they're just like one of the strongest guys on our team. His name was Lewis Usher. He fucking was from like Compton. This dude was like he come like he couldn't even bench press his own body weight. Yeah, but he'd come off the ball and he'd like he'd literally like fucking Reggie White. You like club a guy like ten feet that way. Yeah, he was like three hundred pounds. Yeah, I mean yeah. even. Even here's an article about Travis Kelsey talking about and saying that like almost every guy in the NFL still smokes weed, even though it is banned in there. And he's like, they'll just stop it a week before they know the tests are coming. And he's like, and they'll fucking sweat that shit out in, in training and they're not worried about it. Doesn't make sense. It says since, since 2001, 258 players have popped drug tests, which is like, that's just that's, popped. That's, like, not a, I, yeah. that's not even close to actual number for sure. Yeah. If I'm not but, mistaken, NBA they don't test for marijuana because they know how. Yeah, I mean that would be that would be pointless. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go on. Um, what sense would you what? What sense would you sacrifice out of all of them? I don't know what that means. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Smell, smell, smell. I would give up my smell. Oh, what sense? I give up smell. Yeah, Paul already can't smell, so he doesn't. I can smell now since my nose operation. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> you'd give up what'd you give up, Paul? Smell? Smell. Yeah. So I don't want to give up my hearing or my sight. Yeah, but if you give up smell, then you can't taste. And then you can't taste food anymore. I so what do you taste. give up hearing? What if you just couldn't touch yeah. stuff? Like you didn't have any sensation to touch. I like to touch. But if, then you can't touch a boob. Yeah, I can't touch How a boob. You know you're touching a boob. A boob. Yeah, yeah but you can't touch. I only want to touch one. I only want to touch one. What do you want? What am I going to touch? An asshole? Okay, fine. Like an a asshole. Vagina? Like a, like a vag. What are you talking about, bro? I went for a boob and asshole first. What? I got a preferences. There's <laughs> an order of things. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? Throw that. I want to touch a boob. I want to reach out and grab a boob. You're boob. such a boob guy, eh? Yeah, who has, who has boob, man? <laughs> Just like big jugs. Just give me the big old titties, you know. Do you ever watch the Man Show? I have no, on? I have no shame. Oh, yeah. I don't crawl. Yeah. Girls, yeah. girls I don't... jumping on trampolines. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. I feel no well, shame like, about being a boob guy. You yeah. shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't. Boobs are great. I look. We all, we all we all agree. Yeah. All right. See. Um. And plus, how do you like? You don't really touch a vagina. You finger it. Well, that's touch it, no. touching it. Yeah, but you don't like touch a vagina. You just you bang it. You don't, don't just, you, mean, you, you don't, don't ever just you don't ever just like it? it? No. Like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's laying down as if he's like eating her out, just going like this. <laughs> just probing. Oh, that, okay. like, <laughs> laying yeah. down full full sniper and just going yeah. fucking. Uh, I feel good, babe. <laughs> full, full sniper, yeah. I'm on all fucking sniper. Like <laughs> he's in like a shooting position like <laughs> 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 I don't know. I've never heard it put that way. Nobody, I don't know. You don't pet a vagina. Like you don't touch a vagina. You, you fuck a vagina. Grab him by the pussy. Yeah, you grab him by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's touching it. That's literally touching it. Yeah. You grab a vagina or you finger a vagina. Yeah, but like touching a boob is like, it's touching skin. It's like, it's very. No, not it's not. Clean. That's so it's stupid. Not. That's like saying a man's nipple is the same as a woman's nipple. It's not the same. Yeah. No, but like, it's not, it's not. You're basically saying that an asshole is an asshole. 
No, because assholes have a different feel. <laughs> this conversation took a turn for the worse. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I think orifices. Like, I no, think, like, no. If you're going internal, it's different. I think no, boob, no, it's not. Just like skin, you know. It doesn't matter. A boob is. I not think in terms of the sensation to the fingertips, when we're talking about senses. I think there's not like a whole lot to feel there. Oh, that's not true. You rub a nipple. Squishy. Versus... Is that what you do? <laughs> <laughs> I can picture who I like this. Playing in cyber, one hand up here, wiggling a nipple. And... <laughs> what do you what do you do with an asshole? <laughs> what do you do with the asshole that's touching you? Tell me. Do, do it. The shocker. <laughs> yeah, 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 do the shocker, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's uh, that's see, that's not touching. That's banging. That's different. that's touching. It's poking. But you wouldn't know what it you wouldn't be able to feel yourself doing it. Yeah, yeah but that okay, if you lose your sense of touch, that means you're not gonna be able to feel your dick going in there either. Mm. No, it's just, just hand touch everywhere. Just like oh no, you can't no no no. It's which senses. is why which is why we're not we're all, we're you can't say out. you can't say I lost the sense of touching in my hands, but I still have it in my dick. Yeah, that's like saying that. I so just like lost touching everything, touching everything with my dick. Just that's like saying to check if it's I can't feel anything. I can't feel anything. Here, hold on. <laughs> you gotta check I'm taking smell. Cool I'm taking smell with Paul. Yeah, yeah, smell. But if you can't smell, you can't taste. Yeah, I can't still can. It's not as good. Paul does well, listen, Ian doesn't care. No, about you food. can't. No, you <laughs> can't. You still got taste buds, right? No, you can't. You I have think to it's smell connected to taste. smell. Yeah. Pardon? I think you, you need to, to go. You have to go to smell to taste. I don't know. And you have to. It's not a fucking. It's Google, not a, like, Google it. It's not, it's so not a debatable. It's not an opinion. It's a fact. Okay, so a cracker has no smell, but I can still taste it. No, that's not. It's no. not the thing that doesn't have a smell. It's you. You have to be able to smell to be able to taste. But if there's nothing there to smell, how does that affect my my tasting? It, it uh -oh. doesn't matter. The cracker tastes bland because it has no smell. Paul, Paul's Paul's not wrong. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I already looked this up. I'm, I'm Googling it right now. It says flavor is what, uh, but much but of, much of times? flavor. Wait, much of flavor comes from smell. So when you're unable to smell, you have lost much of your ability. Yeah. To okay. Flavor. So what? much, not all. Yeah. No, it's not so all of what? it. So you barely taste food. Who cares? I'll just eat richer things. Not, you can barely it says, taste it. I'll use more spice. Between 75 and 95 is what they're saying is like the estimate. If you lost your sense of smell. Yeah. That's like nothing. Yeah, I can live with that. Yeah. Fuck that. I can't. If I can't taste I'm food, I'm like, he doesn't care. That doesn't, Ian doesn't count. Ian literally could eat bread for the rest of, well, not bread because he doesn't like pancakes apparently, but like. Well, then I would just, if, if I didn't, I would just eat things with really nice textures and not worry about the flavor at all. Yeah. I would never have too. to season my food. I would just like, I'd be such like you a can't, You know what that means? You're not going to be able to taste pussy anymore. Well, that, that might be a good thing in some instances. No. Like, you know? <laughs> if you were a single man, if you were a single man, you get into that wild world. <laughs> you don't got to worry about you any have, of that. Yeah. You, have, you have no inhibitions right. at all. <laughs> you'll, you'll eat any, all. You'll eat any right, after the, right after the bar, full sweat, eating ass, like Ooh. just, and, you know. Ooh, right She's right like, right I haven't showered yet. You're like, it's okay. I can't taste it anyway. Right after urinating. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I'm going to take hearing. What? Hearing? What? So, but you'll never listen to music again. So you're going to learn sign language? We couldn't talk anymore. You couldn't even do this podcast. You'd have to be sitting there fucking doing. Yeah, we wouldn't even. We probably wouldn't invite you on it. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fuad's deaf. He's off. <laughs> <laughs> we can keep it going though. <laughs> um. <sighs> Fuck, I don't know, man. I can't. I got to be able to taste fit shit. I can't like. You still so good, just not as sharp. Losing ninety percent of my fucking taste is like it's a, that's very worst case bad. scenario. It could be as good as seventy five. <laughs> imagine, imagine eating, imagine eating a pizza and only tasting twenty five percent of the the deliciousness of it. That's horrible. Like healthier. Yeah, but what's but what's, what's worse, not being able to see or hear. I don't think I could live like that. Yeah, I, I couldn't do it either. Honestly. Can I amp can I amputate something? Does that count? Well, what are you going to amputate? Like left hand. Than, yeah, you could take my left hand. Whoa. <laughs> really? You're going to give up that much? No, no, that's not part of this. Hey. Wow. <laughs> you didn't say no, no, you can't send, send your hand off body again. part. <laughs> that's a fucking asterisk. This is caveats now. This is bullshit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, is it racist to identify stereotype something even if you love that from it? No. No. 
example, Uncle June was dunking and rap. Yeah, that, no. that's not racist. I, 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 I admire those qualities. Oh, Only little, people that aren't that racist. It's a little bit racist. No, it's not. I admire those things. I want to be those things. It's a little bit racist. That, that is not racist. Well, because you said, I want to be black. And when someone said why, you said, so I could dunk. And that's kind of racist. How's yeah. that racist? Because every it's black person would that's find that racism. funny. Oh, wait not every back. Hold on a minute. Just because you find it good and it's okay doesn't mean it's not racist. Because the it's, definition of racism isn't it stereotyping an entire group of people in a negative way. That's not negative. No, I nobody I said it. Is it is it a negative way or is it just stereotyping? No, it's a great thing. Who no, don't want to dunk saying, if you could dunk? I'm saying is your definition right? Right. Watch basketball. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. I mean, I mean, does it have to be negative? What do you mean? Just Google what is the definition of racism. Prejudice. Profiling. Wait a second. Prejudice. Prejudice, prejudice you... discrimination, antagonism by an individual community or institution against a person or people on the basis of their membership in a particular racial ethnic group, typically one that is minority or marginalized. Oh, I'm celebrating it. One second. Yeah. I don't think any like this is the kind of things when it's like, you know, they have people like dress up like in as Mexicans and then like white people be like, oh, my God, that's so bad. And then they go to like Mexico and they're like, this is fucking awesome. Yeah. No, nope, that's not, like that's not racist. That's ridiculous. You know, wait a yeah. second. Okay, Intent but, matters. OK, but hold on a minute. This is I'm not saying this is my definition. I'm saying, OK, if you if you ask the black guy, I'm like a social you, justice warrior. You, I, yeah, I know. I'm tur I turned into one. If you ask the black guy <laughs> and you said, hey, all black guys can dunk. Do you think I didn't say that? You did say that. I didn't say all black guys can dunk. Well, when someone said, why do you want to be black? You're like, I want to be able to dunk. So you're implying that all black people can dunk. There'd be yeah, a it much doesn't really make sense, but yeah. Huh? There'd be a much you higher just likelihood. Wish to be white and dunk. You just wish to be you and be yeah. able to dunk. There's just far fewer white guys that can dunk. No, but we're just giving you true. the ability to do something. Pardon? You could have just, just said... be granted the ability oh. to do it. No, well, but yeah, the but the question was at the time. If we could do a different race or something, yeah. Yeah. I know, but what I'm saying is, would... A black person, whether they whether it was nice to them or not, would they find it racial or racist or no. irrac racially insensitive for you to say all black people can dunk? They do. They're a little sensitive. Because <laughs> you, can... <laughs> you know, <laughs> I would think that's uh, there's bigger problems. You know, <laughs> I'm not listen. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just curious now. Does it have to be negative? Or is it just a generalization? My definition of racist racism. I'm not is asking negative. you your definition of racism. I'm asking you the definition of racism. The way I've always thought of it is if it's something negative about a group of people, like a yeah, negative, I think that's uh, the I think that's the way most people think of it. Yeah, but I think that's changed nowadays. Even though it's fucked up, I think yeah, it seems, bullshit. seems so you different can't, now. You can't celebrate certain. Um, we can do whatever the fuck we want, Paul. Like fuck you can't up. say you can't say like all, <laughs> all 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 Arabs love hummus. You can't say that. Well, I would say that every day. They do. I can say they make. I think I can say they make everything with beans. All and Asians, bread. all Asians are good at that. <laughs> all fucking Italians are that. Yeah, we, we can say all these things. Yeah. I'm not saying you can't say it. You can't actually say it. I'm saying like people may find a problem with it. Yeah. Not that I care or that we shouldn't say it. I'm just saying I don't know if that works anymore. So it's like you can't. I guess I'm out. asking. I guess I'm kind of asking the question. I'm not saying these are my opinions. I'm saying like <laughs> I'm telling you, you're racist, Paul. I'm telling yeah, you. I'm saying yeah, he's now. Been telling me that for years. I'm saying, well, you are a little racist. <laughs> this I, is just I what he a said. Black woman. This is just what he says publicly. You should hear him privately. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I married That's a horrendous. Black woman. There's, there's no way I can. You marry. You married a black woman so you could have a, a pass to say it that all black, to say all it black gets, people can dunk. I didn't marry. <laughs> I didn't marry her because of that, but it does give me a pass. <laughs> She's like five percent black. That doesn't even count. So she's wait, she's twenty five. Right. So you my get, kids are a little black. Do you get do you get an N bomb pass or no? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, are I don't think so. No. If his wife try heard, it. if his try wife it. said, if his wife heard no, him say, all, all black people can that. Sorry, have, you ever, that have you ever said that word in front of your wife? Yeah. Not like. Like if I'm retelling careful. a joke He's or so something. Like that. Let's just leave. Let's just please. Know, can fuck, we just let's move on. Next subject. <laughs> uh, what if it's in the middle of the lyric of a song? Can you say it then? Yeah, I think I've said it. I've said it during a song. Yeah, so you yeah. Go. If I'm if I'm singing along with a song, I've said it. I don't I'm, like. I'm not even going to comment on this one. Yeah, but that's not. That's can't be fucking wrong. 
Oh, that's not wrong at all. I agree. I'm just saying I'm way worse than that. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I cut that, guys. Cut that. I was kidding. <laughs> Next subject. Yeah. Uh, uh, fuck, Mary kill, men's physique, classic, open. Mary open, fuck, classic, kill, men's physique. Absolutely. Yeah. Obviously. Uh, when are you guys having another bro chat live? Uh, not sure. Whenever anybody calls us to do it. Uh, get a classic Olympia win or just be an average open bodybuilder. So would you rather be classical? Would you rather be fourth to 10th at the Olympia or be Mr. Olympia? Wait, an open average bodybuilder? isn't fourth to 10th. I'm saying yeah. that I'm just, I'm just building it out. Oh, okay. I know average is not fourth to 10th. I'm saying relaxing. And I know you're seventh. So we're not, so we're not saying you're average. <laughs> I'm just That's using, was, I'm, was just trying, was I'm just trying, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to quantify it. I'm slightly so, above average. Yes, you are definitely above average. So if you're anywhere from 5th to 10th, uh, would you rather be anywhere from 5th to 10th in the Open, or would you rather be the winner of the Classic Olympia? Well, I think for monetary, like I know the pay even if you came, say, 5th in the Open is probably more okay, than get, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Just but strictly... I'm saying, I think in terms of like what it could do for your life, being an Olympia winner might be more beneficial, you know? So you would do it based on the monetary value of it? Well. The prestige. Yeah, the prestige of having an Olympia type. Like, I know it's not the same. Ah, fuck, I don't know. No, I, I don't. I think I would stick with the open. Like, but there's a big difference between 10th and 5th. So it's like, it's tough. If you're saying 5th, I'm taking open. If you're saying 10th, I'm taking classic. 8th. 7th. <laughs> Then I have to take open. <laughs> Eighth, I'm taking classic. Seventh, I'm taking open. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, what would Mike's hair look like right now if he grew it out? Horrible. Like, would it be as thin <laughs> as mine? Or would it be thicker? Yeah. Would it? Totally. Yeah, thicker on the sides maybe, but there wouldn't be much here. Or here. If your phone rings while you're taking a shit, do you answer it or let it go to voicemail? I answer it. I talk on the, all the time on the phone. But... So do I. I try not to. Sometimes I use it as a... You do it you're talking to me. Calls. Yeah, you don't count, though. Yeah, I don't count. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm courteous, right. though. I hit the mute button when I flush. Me too. Same. Yeah. Or fart. Yeah. Well, sometimes it'll slip out. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is a gay to pee sitting down if it's in the middle of the night? I just don't want that weird pee split into three separate rivers thing to happen no be a man stand up be a man stand up your wife will clean in the morning <laughs> <laughs> so we found out today paul's racist and, and misogynist Look, if, I'm the of the night and know, thing. if i'm pissed in the middle of the night and i know i fucked up i literally just like blindly grab toilet paper and just like wipe shit down and then go back to bed yeah you that's know? what i do yeah <clears throat> or in the morning you just leave it till the morning, Paul. Don't lie. Most of the time, I leave it till yeah. the morning. Well, my, Melissa doesn't use that scene. Like when she wakes up in the morning, she goes in because I I get up after her. She goes into like our main hall bathroom, not into our ensuite. So like she doesn't even go to the bathroom that to us. So I could piss all over the fucking floor, and she wouldn't even notice anyway. <laughs> do it. I I definitely do. <laughs> Many times I have. Yeah. Uh, I kind of already know the answer, but I'm asking anyway. Does Ian Valera wish? Does Ian Valier wish he kept coaching Seabum now that he's retired, or does he miss that part of it at all? No. Like, I, I miss aspects of it in that... The, like, the relationship? The relationship that comes along with it, like, you know, the come like the brotherly aspect of it, um, which I still have in all the other ways, so it's not quite, you know, but... Um, but yeah, no, I do. I miss or wish I had more Olympia accolades with him. No, I mean, I don't really, I think he's in, I, I think I knew there was more that uh, he could get out of his physique and out of his career that I couldn't offer him. And I obviously wanted to see him get that. Yeah. And I think he has like leveled up a, a little bit the last couple of years. Um, so I think it's, I'm happy that we made that decision for sure. It's a yeah. very selfless thing to say, yeah. Thanks for that addition, Paul. I, I just thought it was. Should we yeah, commend it for that? Your eyes are looking wild right now, Paul. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I could it be from, on my computer, I literally can't see it. Could it be? Oh, no, you smoke, can't tell. Could it be from smoking a shitload of weed? No. 
No, I knew that. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Impossible. If anything, that's making it better right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my glaucoma. Yeah. I'm trying to block both these pot lights as best as I can. It's fucking driving me insane. Don't worry about it. Oh, right over your shoulder there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll do a couple more. Yeah, it's been a couple hours almost. Um, if Paul could have his dream body, but had to eat ribs and soup only, would he do it? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually pretty good i'm that's curious, good. I'm I'm curious now only to be like a a, a professional you know, bodybuilder a, a mid-tier a pro bodybuilder okay so throw off as you got me and i'll tell you you'd be top 15 in the world no like let's, the world? Let's, no let's say like you would be as good as like uh yeah like let's say like someone like jordan hutchinson who hasn't just won say, a pro just, say, yet. just say top 15 you'd be You'd be somewhere in the top 20 in the world. So be between 10 and 15, but I got to eat ribs and soup every day. No, between, between 15 and 20. Between, between 15, 15 and 20? Yeah. You're not getting a number. You're getting a 16, but you still need. I'm, make... I'm getting the generic 16. You're That's the Olympia 16. only though, right? Am I winning a small show? Yeah, you're you're winning like mm -hmm. fucking uh, well, I guess a I have to. Puerto Rico pro and then like going to the Olympia, you know? Okay. But I got to eat ribs and soup for all my meals. Yes. Every meal, six meals for a day. For the rest of my life. Yes. Off season no. and in the I'd rest of your, the no. rest of your, wait, 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 I'd be miserable. Only, competitive the, life. only the rest of your competitive life. Oh, I do it for a year just to make it fun. Yeah, I do it for a year to be a pro bodybuilder for sure. Yeah, you really hate it that much. Well, I would eat ribs and soup happily for I the rest of my hate life. Ribs, I would the ribs. Love I awesome. the soup, the soup. I could maybe spice it up a little bit more to my liking. <laughs> put a chicken breast in there or something, wait, but I couldn't. Can I, can I ask you something? How bad is the soup that you've had that you just said I have to spice it up a little bit? Do you think soup is bland? No, I mean, but I couldn't just eat soup. Like, I got to have some chicken. Oh, you that. mean spice it up by adding some food? Yeah, there. make it more of a meal. Yeah, but soups sometimes have stuff in them already. Like, what are you uh, talking what about? about? Chunky well, soup. Chunky soup is like a meal. Yeah. It's like a stew. It's some clam I, But I said before, I like stew. I was yeah, thinking what when about, I think of what soup, about I'm thinking stew? like a what runny... About... You're thinking like a just a broth. No one's talking about or, broth. Not just for, not necessarily have to be a broth, but like um chicken noodles, something like that. That's just mainly water. What about no? It's not. It's chicken and noodles. <laughs> it's, yeah, but there's not that much chicken in there. There's Who not the usually fuck? that much chicken. Who the in fuck there. has made your chicken noodle soup for you? It sounds gross. Lipton, Lipton yeah. has. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't Camels. even. Think, I don't think there's any water particularly in it. Is there? Because then if you were to like cook it, it would just boil away. Like it's not, you know. Well, the liquid. I mean, though. It's like stock, like it's stock and like soup chicken stuff. stock. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's just liquid. It's nothing in it. So, like so that be enough chicken, for it. Protein yeah, chicken. but there's chicken and noodles in so, it. So if I was able to add extra chicken to it, and I could have like a whole chicken breast in there, so I'm basically going to have chicken and chicken and noodles. <laughs> I'll just throw the water away. Oh, you're. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine wanting to eat more chicken like that. That's so weird to me. Like it wouldn't be the liquid wouldn't be enough for me. It wouldn't be enough to fill me. You up. got ribs. Be... You have the ribs to go with it. I fucking hate ribs. I couldn't do the ribs. <laughs> I'm still I'm ribs. Just still... cut the meat off the ribs every meal. That's a lot of work every meal, Ian, to do that five or six times a day. <laughs> gonna win a pro show though. I'm still about, shocked. Yeah, yeah, I could do it for a year. Eat a McRib, no bones. <laughs> and as someone a body like show. Yeah, I could do that, no problem. <laughs> I'm honestly still shocked at the lack of like the fact that you hate soup so much. Soup? See, like again though, like I'm talking about like like if you guys are talking more stew, okay, I'm in. Right. But I don't want like, like a beef barley, a nice barley, beef barley soup. No, it's delicious. Yeah, not really. I love just you. Fucking, <laughs> not really. It's just flavored warm water to me. <laughs> All right. So it's coffee. Let's see. Let's see. Coffee wakes me up though. It's got a purpose. Let's see. Here's some soups. I don't really know here. Fifteen soups to make you feel better. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at these, Paul. Look at that. You don't like anything like this? Okay, well, that one right there on the top left looks like it's got a lot of stuff in it. That one all of them okay. do. No, not all of them. Look at the one look right at, below it. Look at this. Oh, it's just, it's, this, is, this is just fucking noodles, for fuck's sakes. Look at this one. And this. This is... Look at this right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking noodles and carrots. Yeah. <laughs> what is there hostile ads on this? What the fuck do you do? want? <laughs> I want some chicken in there and some fucking potatoes, maybe <laughs> some some uh, rice, maybe. I don't understand. What did you say, Ian? Why is oh yeah? Why is there hostile? It's incredible. We're everywhere. <laughs> Weird how that. <laughs> we're even hostile uh, soup. Hostile we're, soup coming. We're even on the soup. We're What's that soup with the eggs in it? Uh, yeah, it just would be like a 
Be frustrated. I'm so frustrated by you. <laughs> You're like water bad. What about chili? Just, what if we smelled on chili? Bro? You know what's fucked up? Chili, even? chili's okay. I like chili. Chili and ribs. If I had to, sure. The ribs, I might not eat all of it, but they're, they're, I'll definitely eat the chili. You would need fucking soup and ribs to be the fucking top 20 in the world. I, you know how many fucking disgusting nah, fucking fish I ate to be top I, 20 in the world? I'd rather eat fish than ribs. That's not the point. I ate. <laughs> it's literally I would like, gladly trade my diet for a fucking yeah. soup and ribs all day. Are you kidding me? You're you like, I, like don't, I don't want to eat soup and ribs. I eat fucking disgusting fucking cod First and of all, pollock. I didn't say it like that. Like I was whining about it. <laughs> <I'm just> so... <laughs> I'm crying. Bro. I would do it for bro, a year. Like soup. No, no you way kinda, I could do it for more than you a year. Did. You kind of did. You kind of did though. So no, like, I didn't say it like a whining You'd be voice. top 20 in the world at bodybuilding. You're like, I don't know. I just want more chicken. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you're like, you can win one shit pro show. But you got to eat ribs and, and fucking soup I won every day. one shit pro show. I ate fucking dog shit for 20 years. What the fuck is wrong Wait, with you? You won more than one pro show. Okay, yeah, I won, won two. I won two, yeah. but that's not the point. Like, that's, yeah. I could do it for a year. That's it. Okay, what about this? Let's change the stakes for Paul. I, I know Paul better than this. Let's say tomorrow, Tyler comes to you and he says, You're going to be my right hand man. You're going to judge all the top shows with me. And, okay, and, I'm, and I'm going to get all and all my advice on all these shows has to come from you. You're going to sit right next to me at the judges table. But, every time. Time. but you can only eat soup and ribs for the entire year. OK, for one year. See, that's yeah. we had the wrong thing. Yeah, he, doesn't care about, he doesn't care about bodybuilding. That's the problem. Uh, no, I love bodybuilding. Yeah, but uh, not uh, enough, not enough to eat soup and ribs. But you care enough for, for, judging. for one year, for one year. Well, at this point in my life, if you would ask me this 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. I probably got a different answer. Yeah, that's probably also true. Because if you were 25 and you were bodybuilding and we said, hey, here's some soup and ribs for a year. I probably would have did it then. You would have done it. Yeah, at this point in my life now, though, probably not. Yeah, we're I not would, saying that I, now. I would, eat, I would eat saltine crackers exclusively for a year to win an Olympic, you know? <laughs> like, there, probably yeah. isn't, there probably isn't anything I wouldn't eat because uh -huh. fish is the only thing I don't like and I ate a lot of it. Yeah, I was a lot more hardcore with my diet when I was younger. I could eat. Anything. I think we all were, dude. There was a period yeah. of time where like every meal was like fucking tuna and rice. Tuna out of a can. Not yeah, even the, the good tuna. The dollar like stuff, the, yeah. The, the catfish tuna. The brown yeah. shit, yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. the cat the cat food shit. Um. All right, let's do one or two more and then we'll go. Uh, yeah, we haven't played for two hours yet, so. How? Oh, I think you just spelled this wrong. Have you ever been rejected and how'd you take it? Never happened. <laughs> Gonna have to go around the horn on this one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's Mike's Apparently. batting Mike's batting a hundred hundred percent. Batting a thousand over here, guys. <laughs> so obviously we're talking about rejected from a girl. I guess so, yeah. What else? What else is there to be rejected from? A job, maybe? They're rejected from my wife all kinds of times. Yeah. <laughs> That's a girl. Yeah. No problem. No big deal. Get right back on the horse. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There's the answer. Yeah. What did you? How have you ever been rejected, and how did you take it? Paul gets rejected on a daily basis. Yeah, I got a little pissy at first, and then the next night I come right back. Just don't, <laughs> you're you're, you're right talking in the bathroom, and then goes to bed. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> life, goes, life goes on. Is that everybody? Is that what every guy does? What jerks so. off in the bathroom? Oh, you're you're my bathroom. Where, where are, you stand, are you standing up in the bathroom or sitting on the toilet? I got a story for you. I'm not in the bathroom. Well, I'm not doing this. Period. I'm just. I'm just guessing. Hypothetical. <laughs> hypothetical. No, <laughs> so I'm you're what? Saying... Standing up? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go like. Well, I usually hang out in the in the basement in the living room. So you're yeah. gonna go lay on the couch in the basement, and fucking and wake it. <laughs> Probably right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're a man now. I got a basement. So when you guys come over, you sit on the couch, and you know that I, I jerked off there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Who are you, you going to say, Paul? Tell us something. About uh, you were just gonna off, say something. You said I got something off in the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. So my old house, <laughs> as you know, food was really small. Um. So one night I got rejected from the wife, and I uh, went in the bathroom, and um. So, at the time, I had a lot of anxiety. I think it's when I first became a dad, and I had a lot all kinds of anxiety issues. So 
Um, and also had those breathing issues because of my nose back then. So I remember being in the bathroom, uh, jerking off. away. Yeah. And I had a panic attack. <laughs> I had a panic attack. <laughs> so, um, while he's, jerking so, off, he's yeah. wheezing. He's wheezing. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of stressful fucking wanks are you having, bro? What do you do? It was a really before? small bathroom. Yeah. Sound yeah. Watching, like, sounds I was probably horrible. on DECA and I had DECA dick or something, you know, and I couldn't bust it up. I ended up just trying to <laughs> work it too hard. He's sweating. <laughs> yeah, working too hard. So I ended up having like a full on panic attack. So, uh, so I go and I wake my wife up. I'm like, babe, I had a panic attack. You know, I need you to talk me through this. <laughs> what were you doing? Doing. yeah so she's like what are you doing I'm like, i fell asleep on the couch and i woke up in this panic and she's like no you didn't no you weren't she's like uh five minutes ago i got up and you're in the bathroom what were you doing in there and i was like i was jerking off <laughs> <laughs> then i felt ashamed but then, then you should you should have covered that went away. you should have covered be like i woke up off the couch i was so panicked that i thought maybe jerking off, jerking would, off would make me feel better yeah maybe feel better and relieve it but it made it even worse so then i came woke you up you i know? never thought of that next time i'll use that yeah. <laughs> uh, why are you ashamed though? Like I don't get ashamed. Uh that that time I was. Well, yeah, I don't you... like it. Yeah, you're okay. You're weird too, Ed. You don't mind when <laughs> my watch it and get jerking off. I don't like that. Hey. If, <laughs> if, had, if I'm taking care of business, I'm taking care of business. I don't give a yeah, fuck. I don't know. I need privacy for that. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> He's like, okay. so then, I'll be with you in a minute. I'll back. I'll call back. I'll call back. He doesn't miss a beat. So I'll call back. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen. If I'm in the middle, you can either join in or leave. That's the, <laughs> that's that's how those are the options. There's no other option. There's a, I'm not stopping. So you can either <laughs> jump in or jump out. But I'm not going to stop. What? Uh, Either way, the end result is the same. Yes. <laughs> Whether you are a I'm going to I'm gonna come. To I'm going to come. Another one quarter. Way or another. I'm a finisher. He's busting a nut no matter what here. Yeah. <laughs> one way or another, I'm going to finish. I don't give a fuck. Okay, but hold on. What? Okay, Mike and Ian. Uh, are you guys stopping? Let's say, let's say you're in a different room. And the fucking wife wakes up and she walks in. You're fucking hammering away. Never are happened. You, are you, never, it's never happened. But if it did, would you stop? Uh, I'd be like a little help. No, just... Yeah, but what I, if... I, I, I'd, probably, I'd probably be more like Paul and stop. Yeah, really. Yeah, it, it, it depends on the party. mood. Like, I mean, it depends if I'm like, like if it's like awkward, caught red-handed, or if right. it's like, you no, know? it depends on the situation, I guess. You know, what right. if you like, what if you like getting caught? Oh well, then you're a voyeur. <laughs> <laughs> you're a voyeur. I'm exhibitionist. Yeah. <laughs> exhibitionist. Yeah. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with getting caught it's like it, it sparks things it's kind of it gets things going I like, <laughs> I like getting caught he's jerking off in the main hallway kitchen <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> table first thing in the morning oh look you caught me <laughs> <laughs> oops where'd you come from <laughs> didn't see you there whatever you live here? <laughs> yeah, whatever gets it going okay Mike have you ever been caught no you've never been caught no, well, I should, not, I should, I should, I should, I should, I should rephrase that. <laughs> not as an adult, because we're saying the word "caught" means you did something wrong. The only person that's ever actually walked in on me and where I got caught was my sister one time. Yeah, like when you're a kid, weird stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, time. but hold on a minute. You. F- <laughs> <laughs> You guys don't jerk off in your own hallway? Yeah. You guys don't do that? <laughs> it's your hallway. I thought every guy did that. Yeah, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're obviously, we're jerking, off more, we're obviously <laughs> jerking off a lot more discreetly than you, where you're like, I'd be like jerking off. I'm just going to do it here. And if she walks in, you don't care. Yeah. I think we're doing it in situations just where hunched we're over in a corner. Just <laughs> where we're positive. Where we're positive. We're not going to get caught, you know? But what's the difference? Well, that's a question for you. No, it's a question for you. Why do you care? Like, why Something would you personal. care? Like, why would you care? But yeah. it's not, but it's. Yeah, it's me time. Yeah. Me time. I don't yeah, want but, but, but me time can be, can turn into us time. It, it can. could. It can. There's a but time. Sometimes I don't want, sometimes I don't, I don't want to train. Right. I just sometimes. want to train alone. You know? <laughs> That's right. So there's a time and a place for both of it. Huh. This is all new to me. <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> no, it's, it, it's funny because I used to think. I don't want to say I had to hide it. I didn't think I had to hide it, but I was more discreet, I guess you could say. 
And then I reached the point where I was like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I wish I was at that place. Is that weird? No, no, I commend you for it. I think it's a good quality. I commend yeah, are you, you like for watching it. a are you watching like a porn while you're doing it? Or are you just like like free minding it? Free, just mind, imagining free, here? free minding is rare. I, my, that's, my, that's, I, that's, I can't that's, do that. That's what makes it awkward, I think. I'm not 16. Like, yeah, you're a, right, Mike. That's what I'm that saying. But that's what make, like, you're sitting there like, yeah. Like, huh? Oh. Yeah. Like, <laughs> 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 well, I don't look like that. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. I'm like, scared. Like, it's like this. It's like this. It's like this, Mike. Check this out. Okay, we're doing it. <laughs> how does she how, fit wait, that often, in there? Look at that. <laughs> how often in a calendar year do you think you get caught jerking off? Oh, I don't know. This guy? <laughs> you ask him, ask month? him monthly. He got a better. <laughs> oh, it's more. It's more than ten times a year. Yeah, it's all the time. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me ask. Am I on shit or am I off? Well, it's just you now. Uh. <laughs> It's like one, two, three, yeah. uh, last it's week, almost, seven. It's, it's got to be. It's got to be weekly. It's yeah. it's got to be like it's got to be probably four or five times a month. So weekly. So still once a week at least. It's got to yeah. be like three three to five times a month. She's come and, to expect it. And when and when you were on sauce, sauce, I kind of I kind of enjoy it. If you want the drink, yeah. yeah, kind of like I kind of plan my day around it. Like I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm like I'm gonna get when caught, you, and then we're probably gonna have sex. Up. When you were yeah. sauced up, how often? What's that? When you were sauced up, how often? Oh fuck, every day. <laughs> you, and you would just get caught every day. I would purposely do it though. You don't understand. I'm like, weird. I'm like, oh, there you are again. Why and you just like, asking the fuck then? This is his way of getting her into it. It's like my fun little game. Yeah, it's, it's my fun little game. It's my foreplay. It's my foreplay. I play this little. I play this little game in my house where we. If I was gonna jerk off and I wanted to fuck, I would just ask to fuck. If I want to just jerk off, I would make sure that I'm not getting caught. Yeah, you wait till she goes to bed, and then you go sleep down in the basement. No, but wait a minute. And sometimes I do that. And sometimes I'm like, you know what? I'm not. I want to fuck. Oddly specific. Let's fuck. (laughs) But there are basement room behind the stairs. Yeah. (laughs) This is okay. Wait. This is the problem. When I was bodybuilding, on a ton of shit. I want to fuck all the time. Yeah, I get it. And sure. most and most women are like, get the fuck away from me. I can't yeah. fuck you three times a day. Just get away from me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're good for it for, for, for a month, two months, three months. Most women after like five years are like, I can't fuck you three times a day. Leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> so I take it when I can get it. And then when I can't, I'm like, jerk I'm going to do this. Off. I'm going to jerk off right in front of her and see if it works. Yeah. <laughs> And, I'll and, show you. I'll out of show ten you. times, out of ten times, how many times does it work to get her to join in on that? I, I don't know. That's a little personal. I don't want to go that far. But that's where we cross the line. Oh, we're it, at the line. Uh, yeah. Mike, yeah. Mike, we're at the limit. That's the limit. But it, it can happen. It can happen. Oh, of course. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't do it if it wasn't like. Well, you're still something. gonna just jerk off. So it's... yeah, but I wouldn't be doing it like per like visibly on purpose if it wasn't having some benefit yeah you kind of freaked me out when you grabbed that tissue right there i didn't know what you were gonna do with that he he always uses that for (laughs) he's got a roll in his trunk jerk off (laughs) i've been jerking off this whole time what do you mean (laughs) 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 toilet paper for who has the most versatile paper there is uses it for everything (laughs) toilet paper is incredible Use it's, it for everything. You always got to roll in your truck too. It's softer than tissue paper. I'm gonna blow my nose with fuck it. You find it's softer than Kleenex? Well, it's for my asshole, so it's got to be soft. So I blow my nose with it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it smells sense, really huh? good after. Listen, I'm wet, I'm wet wiping exclusively these days. I wet wipe. Uh, yeah, after. I, can. I wet that, wipe that I post. I only wet wipe. No I dry wipe. Well, oh, you don't all. dry wipe first. No, I just fucking get it all wet only. I dry then wet. <laughs> I'm giving I'm getting my asshole is going through like a, a healing phase now. It's been years since it's like it needs a good just like couple months of healing. Yeah, but you if know? you only go if you if you only go wet, then you're just smearing it. Yeah. So yeah, like I, I keep using the wet wipes until they're completely clean. Are they unscented? Unscented, yeah. Paul is very concerned about the scent being bad. Oh, he's a scented ones. You're going to mess up your ass bacteria. Dude, what do you do with it afterwards? You put in the garbage. It was like hypoallergenic ones that oh, are they're fl- they're flushable. They say they're flushable, but they're not really flushable. No, these yeah, ones say right. that they're Plum, plumber recommended and just like toilet paper. So they're good. You, so they're false advertising, you say? Well, they do it with tampons. They say they're flushable, but they're not. I don't think tampons are flushable. I've Some of them will that. say on they're flushable. I've really? never seen that. Yeah, but they're not. 
I know yeah. this because my first Expect. house, my wife caused my basement to flood because she kept wouldn't listen to me. Yeah, I think that happened. Right. That they were flushable. You have some really pent up. You have like a lot of pent up. <laughs> no, I don't. Houses. No, I don't. Just this is one time though. I told. I her told. I told her not this, to flush the fire. This that's why I buried her in that basement. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. Whole basement awesome. flooded. <laughs> you have so much pent up anger. It's just like. <laughs> It, oh, I know. Seep, it seeps out very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think it is, but every once in a while, it just like creeps out. <laughs> Pokes its head. Yeah. All right. Let's um. Let's wrap it there. Uh. One more. One more. How much would Big Mike need to be paid a, a year to wear full Young LA outfits and Nike blazers to the gym? And do a sideways and do a set of sideways reverse pec deck in this dope outfit. Who asked that? Uh, Keto Keton VDG fifteen. Uh, okay. <laughs> what are you What are you offering me? What's on the table? Would you do it for like fifty k a month? Are you being sure. crazy? Are you kidding me? He said sure. Yeah. Would you oh. do it for ten? No, fifty. 10. You wouldn't you wouldn't wear young LA shit for 10k a month. You have to do it every day. I gotta wear it every day, dude. And those uncomfortable Nike blazers. What's a Nike blazer? I don't know what that is. My daughter's having this. Like I would probably love them. <laughs> what, is that? <laughs> what does that mean? You fucking oh, those are great. Google them. <laughs> Google them. Who wants to be like, oh, I almost bought these? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, these are amazing. I almost bought them. <laughs> <laughs> These are the uh, fucking worst. They're really big with kids right now. I, I know. Actually, they have I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm not a sneakerhead, so I don't know. But I actually like these. Yeah, they're fucking gay, bro. It's probably because I like Chucks, <laughs> and they remind me of Chucks a little bit. Big gay. Yeah. Big gay. <laughs> why, why is it big gay? Just they're fucking big gay, bud. Why? Because <laughs> that's just the fucking way the world works. They're big gay. <laughs> I, don't feel, I don't feel like they are. Are they big in that community? You should get a pair. Yeah, get some, get some. <laughs> yeah, see, right there. There you go. Unpopular opinion. Nike Blazers are overhyped. See, it's unpopular. Oh, it's a fucking Reddit form. Yeah. Hmm. Why are Nike Blazers Discover so popular? Discover videos really oh. innovative technology. Due to their innovative technology. What's innovative, innovative technology, see? Right. And stylish type design. Yeah. Association, association with legendary basketball players. Why, 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 why? <laughs> huh. Yeah, 50k. I'll do it. Young LA, reach out. 50k. All right. Well, Nike, no, Nike's not paying me a dime. So lead us off with a prayer. Mike, wait, before we go. Didn't you have a drop this week? It's Friday. Friday at two. Let's take a look real quick before we go. <laughs> I got in a lot of trouble for that golf video I posted. This is a fun I golf. like that video, Mike. This I watched that. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> what golf video? What did I miss? Watch oh. it. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. Let me share the sound. It's a well done video. We need the sound. realize i'm gonna to have to mute this anyway fuck um I like those shirts well though no, i mean the music's playing on instagram it doesn't matter um that's fucking crazy mike so you're in the you're in the golf scene now yeah i know a lot of people that follow me golf so that's awesome I just was like fuck it we're not yeah, it out. i like the shirts i like the collared shirts yeah they're nice the hats are nice the hats are nice too yeah. So all of that drops this weekend? Friday at two. Yeah, Friday at two. That's on Monday or Tuesday, probably. Three days. All right. Everybody watching.
get there Friday at two. Wicked, where is it? Wicked.com? Yeah, right here. Yeah. All right. Anything else, Mike? Nope. All right. Paul, want to lead us off with a prayer? All right, go ahead. You got something prepared for us? <laughs> nope. <laughs> but I got a lot of problems right Absolutely now. Absolutely not. All right. But well, I got a lot of problems right now. I need some help with. Let's pray about your problems. <laughs> selfish. <laughs> you this prayer. He's going to do a selfish prayer again. This, this time it's going to be able... Look at these eyes, Ian. I need some fucking mercy on this. <laughs> going through hell this week. Um. All right. Let us bow our heads. Mm -hmm. Dear leader. Bow our heads for Paul. Yeah. Dear leader. It's going to be a little bit uh, about me today. Um, my back's killing me. <laughs> Fucking foot hurts. My eyes look. My eyes are fucked up. I don't know what happened. Man, I just need a break this week. So uh, I'm hoping uh, the rest of this week goes a little better than it has so far. He's such an idiot. I'm serious. Who had fuck? I'm like this. I don't even like going in public right now. It looks so bad. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, whatever. Fuck it. Oh, fuck yeah. it. All right, Look at Mike. Did you see, did you see Mike's name here? Too? I just noticed that. PGA Mike. I didn't yeah. notice that when he, when he logged on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. We'll see you next week. See you guys. All right, guys.